I can't I can't turn the mics on while you're screaming. <laughs> Let me be very clear that mine is on though. <laughs> Mine's on and you are not on. That's what's happening right now. Right now right now I'm just talking to myself and they can now read what you were saying to me and now they can hear you. Wonderful <laughs> and beautiful. We got there eventually. We got there eventually. I like how you didn't break your sentence so we wouldn't mess with you too much. <laughs> Hi guys, we made it. We did. Hi. We made it. We, we made it. Here. I was I was screaming so that Nick couldn't turn on the mics. So I I just really didn't, didn't want though. the voices to come in at, in the yellow. You know, I just, I felt like that might be disconcerting for people. <laughs> I feel like that is a very genuine concern that I'm glad that you kept it in your mind because I don't. Fair. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I would have uh, just done it. They're, they should be used to us being in the yellow. We spend a lot of time yelling. Oh, we do spend true. a lot of time yelling. I mean, we live up um, it's true. <laughs> Welcome to Going Critical. Really it's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday. We're all talking over each other. We're all yelling. We're all pushing the mic into the yellow. And I personally am avoiding doing an intro. So, you know, it's a typical Monday. It's a typical Hellions. Yeah. Yay. Yep. Yeah. Yay. Yep. Yay, Monday. <laughs> I do sometimes feel sorry for our captions having to caption us all well it's it's <laughs> I nice don't. I don't. <laughs> it's nice now because they actually do uh partition us out into speakers so yes that's <laughs> yeah. the thing right that's so helpful it really is. listen they're teaching the ai to work properly or we're thoroughly confusing it so win 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 exactly true yeah, welcome to Hellions of Karnak. It, Like I said, it's Monday night, you're watching Going Critical. Um, we are back for another episode of Ballroom Blitz. Yeah. I'm here to torture some teenagers, you guys are here to watch it, and my cast is here to play it. Introduce yourselves, guys. Oh, it's so soon, I don't want to. Um, uh, my name's Emily, I play Xanth. Uh, I'm an artist... Uh, you can follow me at Emily Pearson Art in, on Instagram and Twitter. Um, Santh is a changeling warlock sorcerer who is not having a good time. Um, yeah, we're doing, for our fun fact of this week, it was, what is our character's biggest insecurity? And for Xanth, that is just them. <laughs> it is, their true changeling form is what he's most insecure about. Oh, Bobby. Baby. Baby. <laughs> Baby boy. Um, hello, my name is Ned. Um, you can find me on the internet as at Ned Lazarus Wolf. Um, I play Monty, who is our half elf, half rogue, half druid. Um, and Monty's big, uh, insecurity i know words guys i'm a writer i write comic <laughs> I was books to say you i know words. words i i said this in my in one of my latest last editorial meetings was i know words um anyways so monty is our half rogue half druid half elf um and the thing that he is most uh, insecure about is that he doesn't actually think anyone likes him um so, yeah. He knows Santa, so we talked about this in, in we character. Have <laughs> in character. And he knows Santa likes him, but he is not convinced that anyone else does. Yeah, he's not really even convinced that Santa likes him, but like, he's, he's, he's willing to play along with it. Um, I like to think this is going to result in all of us like, even subconsciously in character trying to assuage each other's insecurities. <laughs> like, Amazing. no, Monty, you know, no context needed, but I think you're swell. Yeah. So I've been told trying you that I for, like you for years. <laughs> That's true. Uh, uh, it's me, 
Uh, hi, I'm Danny. You can find me on Twitter at um, by Shalane. I almost forgot my own Twitter header. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> it's that kind of day. <laughs> I have four hours of sleep in me, guys. Anyways, um, yeah, I play Yenna, the gnome shaped tiefling. Uh, she's a wizard and a barbarian, because that's a normal combination. Um, and she is most insecure about the tiefling features, I think. Like, the horns are, uh, she has to deal with those a lot. You can't really do anything about it, but I think the wings and the tail probably fuck her up more. Like, she's just like, I hate that these are things that I have to get, like, clothing figured out with. I imagine it'd be super weird to live most of your life without, like, <laughs> opposable limbs that actually do things. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then yeah. to suddenly have limbs that do things that you have to control would be super weird. Yeah, like, the tail is, like, something that like, she specifically probably, like, hides. Is oh. thing. Yeah. These are so sad. <laughs> yeah. Well, because it's like, you know, she she changed color and her eyes got weird and, like, all this weird yeah. shit happened to her. Very, Welcome very visibly. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to Hellion's Womp for the night, I guess. <laughs> Aww. God damn! Hey, whoever came up with, with, with listing their the characters' insecurities, like let's blame this on them. Oh, it's <laughs> me. I was gonna say. <laughs> so blame Emily. Tisk, okay. tisk, Emily. <laughs> yeah. How could you do this to us? I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I'm Dodger. You can find me at Dex Bonus on pretty much everything, and uh, I play Yuli, and Yuli is a, a rogue wizard. And she's got a lot of anxiety, so it took me a minute to figure out like what specifically I would say she is the most insecure about. Um, I think like Yuli Yuli tends to stumble over her words a lot, and it's because the second she starts talking, she's worried she is taking too long to explain something. Oh, <laughs> um, so uh, she has a lot of insecurity about like being annoying or like taking up too much space in conversations. I think. Um, so that's, that's a lot of the reason why when she's talking, she like sometimes repeats things or like panics in the middle of sentence. <laughs> oh, oh, baby. No, <laughs> oh. Um, well, this is just making my heart ache. I know. I know. And, it's like, and, and here I am last to break your heart today. Uh, <laughs> I'm Nick. I'm act. At Nick Terhorst slash Nick Tattoos, uh, pretty much everywhere. And I am playing Tink, who is a high elf uh, artificer cleric. And uh, he's a good boy, and he's never done anything wrong. Um, and I do... No insecurities whatsoever. <laughs> no insecurities <laughs> whatsoever. No, I think he is... Um... I think he's, like, his in biggest insecurity is kind of a compound of, like first people knowing who he is and then like just not being able to like meet the expectations of like his family's name so oh. the fact that he is this like little fuck up uh and belongs to like a very prominent family like he he is constantly going over that in his head uh so yeah yeah, there's there's many reasons why he uh does not love being referred to as a gold petal or like by his like real name and stuff. And why he's just stuck at the school for ten years <laughs> instead of going home. God, this is this is such a depressing way Wait, to start. Is that literally <laughs> why? Is that yeah. why he stayed in school? <laughs> Yeah, his program yeah. is three years it's long. Just, oh it's just easier to be a perpetual student than to deal with the for reals life of my family. These L are all literally so yes, <laughs> like, it's it's literally so yes. They thought he was doing a doctor, like a doctor, literally like a surgeon's degree. So he just never told them he switched majors. Oh my god, amazing! <laughs> <laughs> he's he's a good boy. He's never done anything wrong, guys. <laughs> He's never done a single thing wrong in his life. No. Nope. My god. Well, anyway, so, um... <laughs> that was the wonderfully not-depressing intro to this week's Hellion. Uh, 
does anybody have any announcements before we dive into the pre-show stuff? I do. Oh, okay. it's a real announcement. Um, the announcement this week is the same as the announcement last week in that I will be at the Small Press Expo um, the weekend of September 17th and 18th, um, which is being held in Bethesda, Maryland, which is the greater DC area. Um, it is a great show filled with lots of comics and uh, like indie artists and all sorts of cool stuff. Um, it's a lot of fun. This will be my third year ta tabling at it. Uh, so if you want to go and meet me and say hi and buy some of my books with my very, very dead name on it that will be expertly <laughs> stickered over, um, please come and uh, yeah, come and join us. It's like very easy to get to out of DC. Uh, there's you just take the subway out and then like cross the street um it's held at the marriott in bethesda it is good stuff nice. uh yes and my other announcement is that i am very cute <laughs> oh, we, knew, we knew you were gonna try and get it in there at some point <laughs> i'm also great <laughs> cool um cool i got a small one i keep forgetting to say this i got a book <laughs> it's coming out October 12th. That's it. It's for fun. Just a little just a little guy. Just you know, just a little publication coming out in stores near you. Yeah, it's only how many pages? Uh 162. No, yeah, no, oh. tiny, tiny book, tiny book. Little, not, yeah. even, not even a book. That's practically just a zine. Yeah, just a pamphlet, yeah. basically. <laughs> it's really just the front and back of a sheet of paper. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a business I mean, it's like card, even. Back, so it's like, is it really? <laughs> <What? Yeah. laughs> oh goodness! So, what's the book called? What's it about? Oh, what it's, called, it's called bonding. These people have weird fucking slugs on their chests, and they also kiss each other. Um, that's it. I, I love that. You know. <laughs> I, you're gonna think I'm being sarcastic, but that is a great pitch. It, is. <laughs> it really is. I'm very excited to read that. <laughs> You've left just enough to the imagination, which is to say yeah, everything. Yeah, literally. I'm like, who kisses? Yeah. I'm so excited. <laughs> Wait, did the slugs kiss or did they kiss? Don't answer. Yeah, it, that's don't part answer. of the book. We don't need do to know. Do they kiss their slugs? Who knows? You gotta read the book. <laughs> Speaking of which, it's coming to a store near you. Go pre-order it today from, is it Vault? Vault Comics? Yeah, I don't think you yeah. can pre-order it anymore, but you can uh, probably just have your shop reserve a copy for you if you want it. Or your bookstore. It's in bookstores too now. So that's cool. Cool. Yeah, you know, like Barnes and Noble. And yeah. Waterstones. If you're in the UK. <laughs> yep. Small announcement. Teeny yeah. tiny announcement, practically microscopic. I mean, I've, I've announced it before, so it's not news. So small, you can't even see it under a microscope. <laughs> oh, you a, Just a small announcement <laughs> as a treat. I have to say, this is rich coming from you, Dion, who kept forgetting to share that they had a fucking book with DC Comics coming. <laughs> <out>. <laughs> Oh, by the way, this is a mature stream because we all swear. Um, but that was different. That was my book. I'm allowed to like no, you guys when no. it's your books. Oh That's my god, motherfucker! I swear to God, United <laughs> <laughs> the fucking United Kingdom and beat you up something in the head with your book and be like, this is not a small thing. <laughs> no, I love... that's a trick to get us to the UK. I love that the moment that there was one f bomb dropped, all of them just came out. It was great. It was beautiful. Um, anyway, are there any other announcements? No, not yet. Okay, all right. Well, my book is still in stores. If you want to go find that, and that's Galaxy: The Prettiest Star. But we've done that pitch already, so yeah. But you should do that anyway. This is a really good book. It's a good it book. Is. So I, good. I just did. <laughs> I was talking to them. I think they should go and get it. We're just gonna do this every week. It's just yell about galaxy. Yeah. Yep. Welcome we to. We'll yell about bonding when it comes out too. Oh yeah. God. There's something really wholesome about like angrily promoting <laughs> your friends. <laughs> friends yeah. doing exciting stuff. Yeah. yeah. Good. Like, my friend made a really cool <laughs> thing. 
but they're <laughs> too dumb to talk about it. So I'm going to. <laughs> also, I think it was a mistake. I don't know if I should say this on stream. It's fine. I think it was a mistake. But... <laughs> That was one hell of an emotional trip. Oh my right god, there. we were, yeah, a lot happened just then. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was trying to find my, my book like date for when it comes out, and I saw one post that was like Emily Pearson's bonding. And it's like I was like, oh man, they should definitely put Matt on this, but this never happens. <laughs> so No, that's fine. That is genuinely fine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it no, is I mean, Emily Pearson's bonding. Matt's name on it too, but still. <laughs> no, no, it's Emily Pearson's bonding. That's it. Yep. It's done now. That that was one promo. To, I look forward to when my book is announced and comes out not yeah. being recognized for it. I know. It's, it's going to be great. <laughs> it's ever come up in history. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we will not extol the various faults of the comic book industry right now um instead we'll play dnd on twitter <laughs> yeah exactly. yeah for that you can follow us on twitter <laughs> <laughs> but we're here to play dnd so let's dive in um as i said you're watching hellions of karnak we are a live um whatever the heck it's called live stream play, act, play pod uh TTRPG. A theater of the mind yeah. actual play podcast <laughs> sort of the thingy. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> In which everybody has said you should that like when I said that I should write a script for this, and we were like, yeah, that's a good idea. And uh... first positive. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, theater of the mind, live, actual playing, D D five E, um, magic school, maybe doing things. Um we also practice safe streaming because we have safety things in place for us as DM and players. We encourage you guys watching at home to practice safety things <laughs> too. If you come across anything during the stream that you find it's uncomfortable or at all triggering, please do not hesitate to take a step back if you need to. Don't feel obligated to continue watching. We would much rather that you guys at home feel safe as you're watching. And if you would like to bring it to our attention or just discuss it in general, or just want to talk to cool people, please feel free to join our Discord. It's a pretty nice place. I'm slipping hey. into that terrible New York accent again. I can I can sense it coming. <laughs> just gonna break the hacks. It's okay, you're gonna be a Welsh snake soon. <laughs> Why did you have to remind me of that? <laughs> <laughs> he was just so well. <laughs> <back. Is> <laughs> the chances of me being able to do that Welsh accent again is zero. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. It was it was a beautiful, beautiful moment. You know, just a moment in a bottle, dude. Exactly. Uh, uh, yeah, God, seriously. <laughs> Bottle it up and put it up for sale. I don't know what was going on. <laughs> you had just two cokes beforehand, I think. I had. I 100% had had way too much sugar, and apparently that turns me into a maniac for accents. But anyway, diving <laughs> right in. Last time on Hellions of Karnak. After the ball was flooded with magical darkness, the Hellions sprung into action. They suspect Zant's older brother... Xander is at the centre of it all, only to be proven right as a, a heist is launched at the Lyceum. And try saying that ten times fast. <laughs> Sorry. The professors disappeared. The students were trapped. Xanth was supposed to be playing some sort of part by gathering keys. But the keys to what? Yuli revealed that the pen is mightier than the sword by literally um, using a pen as a throwing dagger. <laughs> or is yeah. it a dagger that can be used as a pen? Who knows? Only Yuli. Yana got protective. Tink discovered that Belial has a very familiar dagger that Belial maybe shouldn't have access to. And Monty befriended three basilisks, one of whom was Welsh, who were going to either eat the students or turn them to stone, and so decided that the best course of action was to draw them away to the murder basement below the school. Wow. 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 
Okay, no, okay. I. I love you all, but was that necessary? Yes. <laughs> of course it was. Yes, it was. Absolutely. Next question. <laughs> this is the reaction that all of my writing should get. Just everyone doing a bad Owen Wilson impression. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> now we're here to D and D. Um, so you've all just watched Xander depart. Convinced by one of Xanth's spells, a suggestion spell to take everybody there and go. Um, it appeared that the majority of Zan uh, Xander's people were happy to just go along with whatever Xander wanted to do. But it took a little bit more convincing to send Talia, Xanth's pseudo-sister, away. And you did so... Uh, after she threatened you. And well, that was mostly Yuli that got her away, let's be fair. <laughs> so just, you've managed to... Her a little. Yeah, yeah, you've managed to avoid a major mm. fight. Which the DM is in no way salty about because I dislike combat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you are standing amid what appears to be a stunned and silent student body. What are you doing? Oh god, everyone's still here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, everybody is still here and they are all looking at you expectantly. Wait, some because... some people left though, right? <laughs> like when once the when, once away, the basilisk right? was visible, a bunch of people left, right? <laughs> a few people ran about I would say a third of the room managed to leave before the doors were locked and everybody was sequestered inside. Oh, right. God, he but... loves doing that, doesn't he? Yeah. I'm gonna yeah. everybody in here and then I'm gonna menace them with my snakes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's quite um, the quite the vibe. I I mean I don't even know what I'm gonna try with this, but can I roll a perception to see if I see Mopity or uh, a trace of invisible hex right now? <laughs> I'm, I'm not in, I'm, I'm out of the room so you're gonna need a very good perception check on that yeah uh Monty did tell you that he was leaving so you would have heard that over the stones okay. you can however try and do a perception for somebody who is invisible I will tell you now <laughs> you will not see whoever is invisible because it has not been an hour yet well I was looking if there's anything like specific like suspiciously hex going on like there's just a floating pop can <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, just a floating mm. like glow stick drawing on the walls or some shit like that okay okay all right roll perception to see if you can find evidence of hex okay or where hex has been uh, um perception yes 11 You see a couple of like glowing dots, but you're pretty sure that that was from earlier. Yeah. Um, is it, Xanth's gonna go try to find Monty. <laughs> He's gonna go run after Monty. So you know that Monty was taking the snakes to the basement. That was stated over the stones, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. So. Yeah. Just clarifying with Ned. <laughs> and I and I. And, and I also told my boyfriend not to go anywhere to like to to not fall not go yeah, with me. He was he so. was supposed to find us, correct? Yes. Yes, Lawrence but then a bunch is. Of shit went down. <laughs> yeah, Lawrence is one of the very confused eyes watching you guys on stage at the moment, uh, from the crowd. So Zanth, you know that the murder basement, so aptly named, is a cavernous <laughs> system laid out below the healing wing, the hospital wing of the school um, and which you can make your way towards if you would like to Wait, did we did we know that Monty was in the murder basement? Knew that he was taking the snakes, yeah, yeah. Oh, Okay, I, I wasn't sure if he'd actually said the words I'm going to the murder basement or if he was just <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know, I don't remember See that you either. later guys like, or, or if it was yeah. just like, I'm taking the snakes Yeah, he, I because I, I I thought it was just like, believe, I'm taking care of the snakes. I believe that the words, I'm taking the snakes to the basement, were said. 
Okay. Um, I feel like I don't, we would assume, I, we would assume murder, murder basement, basement, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah. <laughs> because it's not just the basement, it is the murder basement. Um, I, also, I just, can, I, can I ask for another clarification question? Um, we did get over the rocky talkie and be like, Balthazar, where the fuck are you? <laughs> did we I, I don't ask? think we have no, expressly we been like, Balthazar, what the fuck? He's just been suspiciously absent throughout our entire conversations. Uh, okay. Well, they, did, they did put the teachers to sleep. So. Well, I they said they did them. something to the teachers. There are no teachers. No, yeah. they said it was. They said it was sleep. To, only to you, though. Sleep. You're the only one oh, who knows that. Yeah. Oh shit! Because okay. yeah, exactly. your, yeah. yeah. your sister was like, we we took care of the teachers. Where the keys, right? Yeah, yeah. but Sans has told nobody else. This. Yeah, no, yeah, so. that's yeah. That, yeah, that's what I mean. Like yeah, yeah. That's first plan of action is to be like, where are you? <laughs> yeah, I think um, Yuli would run over to stand next to Yena. You okay? Yeah. Just, just, still, hug. just still under the table with Yon Woo, <laughs> crying Aww. on him. Yon Woo is desperately trying to cast calm emotions and just keeps fumbling it. Yeah, oh. she's just like she's at that like point of crying where she's no longer coherent. Like she's clearly trying to be like, and if you die, I can't handle it. I don't know if that's like gonna change the loops i don't know what that does and she's just like i don't have any control just basically just sobbing on him oh yuli would just yuli would just quietly like hug and pat your back <laughs> yeah i think if, if that if she realizes that yuli's there she'll just start transferring all of the energy just turn and now she's like glommed on to yuli <laughs> Everything's okay. The 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 snakes are are gone, and and um, uh, Xanth's brother is gone. E everybody's. Oh, where are where is? And then like still holding Yena, I think she'll pull out the rocky talkie and be like, um, Balthazar, uh, uh, T Tink's brother, d where? There's a lot that um just happened at the ball. Is is anybody um are is everyone okay? Is there a reason that n nobody's here after everything we said over the rocks? All you get in response oh, is a God. resounding silence. <laughs> this is over the group call, right? Yep. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, if if Sam hears that, they'll just go the rocky rocky talky. Uh, they put teachers to sleep. I'm not sure where. I'm gonna. Can you, someone help me go with Monty? Uh, yeah, no, yeah. No one, no one, come with me. I don't want anyone getting hurt. Well, I don't want you getting hurt. I don't you want fucking you to get us. hurt either. Zanth, you also hear from Monty's end over the rocky talkie just a whole lot of like hissing noises. <laughs> yeah, he's he's so, gonna uh... run faster. <laughs> Um, I think Tink goes to leave and then realizes that he is effectively the one left on stage right now with everyone yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, just looking at you, waiting for some sort of kind of guidance. And and he, I think he'll toss like a, a like shoot like a, a panicked look at at Belial and then just kind of like, <clears throat> um, I we 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 should probably. I, th I think we should probably call it for the night. Like, <laughs> I, th I, th I think maybe we should just like head back to the dorms. That seems that seems like the best course of action. Like it, nothing's going on right now, but like it, it shit's weird. This is weird. You you get to this point and it's almost as though um, Lawrence Lawrence of all people <laughs> takes pity on you and hops up onto the stage and goes. Perhaps all those who were injured in the attack should make their way to the front of the hall. Any of you who are okay, uh, remain in groups, but definitely go home. <laughs> um, everything will be fine. Those of you who cannot move upon your own, we'll sort something out. And looks towards Tink in a bit of a panic. T T Tink nods. He, he nods. He's like, he's like I, I think we can figure this out. Like... <laughs> 
Um, <laughs> should we roll persuasion? Yes, roll persuasion <laughs> with that... advantage because Lawrence helped. I believe in you, dude. Uh... <laughs> you got this, Tink. You can do it. Uh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a 15. There are a couple of people in the crowd who look a little bit wary. Oh, oh wait, I still have guidance. Wait. <laughs> it's a 16. <laughs> hey. Nothing, nothing has ever been. Bigger wait. number. <laughs> wait, 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 I have inspiration. <laughs> Thank you, Seal. If it's another one, I'm gonna fucking flip. <laughs> okay. It's, it's 16. It's seven. That's just like, save this man. 23. 23. It's a 23. It's a 23. It's a 23. I'm crying. <laughs> oh, Amazing. perfect and wonderful. A 23? <laughs> 23. You can see, you can see, Tink, that as you are talking, there is like a chitter of like nervousness goes through the crowd and then slowly the more you start talking and then Lawrence hops in as well and like you've got this they are they are okay in kind of trusting you they're all like yeah no of course he's gonna be a bit nervous we're all a bit nervous that was fucking weird <laughs> and you see some of the older students especially start kind of stepping up in the crowd to like help people who have been at all injured or spelled towards the front which is what Lawrence had kind of guided and are also staying to see if they can talk to you to me <laughs> you have just yeah put yourself at the forefront of this of the cleanup of this uh, disaster so yes oh to you um yeah, I think really Some... quickly over the over the rocky talkie, Tink will be like, "Wait, I I I fucked up. I can't. I'm I'm not. I'm not going to leave." <laughs> <laughs> but I I really I can't leave though. I um, <laughs> Yuli will uh will kind of like push Yana back a little bit to look at her and say, "Um, how about because we 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 don't know what's going on with." the teachers and it might be good to to get out of here right so so maybe we leave and see if we can help balthazar does that sound okay yeah we should we should do that okay sorry sorry i'm so sorry um what are you, what are you sorry for <laughs> this and just dribble points at like her every like crying face <laughs> and she's just like huh. yana i'm a championship crier Everything's fine. Uh, that we gotta talk about that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> she, she's like, <laughs> you watch as she like press the digitations, like her face back to like perfect, and, like all the makeup's good. <laughs> she does it. The moment that you do that, um, you see at the corner of your eye that Hyunwoo had kind of like extended a hand holding a handkerchief to you and then puts it back down. <laughs> oh. you know, he kind of just shuffles out the other side of under the table. Uh. I want to be clear, Yena is not intentionally an asshole to this boy, okay? <laughs> I want to be clear. Uh, DM just thinks it's funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, so like, oh, I made a mistake every single time. Um, Look. So, Yuli, Yenna, are you still under the table at this point? Yeah. I, I yeah. think so. While we're having this conversation, yeah. But okay. the, intent the intention is to leave, or at least try to figure out where Balthazar slash the teachers are. Yeah. Um, so Yenna is, like, kind of putting her back the facade. And just like, I can do this. As um, you kind of come out from under the table, I will say, you can, you see that Tink is now surrounded by all of the heads of the dormitory, all of the prefects that are active in the school, including Hans. Hans is there. <laughs> um, Xanth is. Where are you, Xanth? 
I'm, I'm Are you going... gone? Are you on your way? Are you... I mean, it depends on how far you think I would have got in this time, but I'm I'm trying to go help Monty. I will say then that just as you guys come out from under the tables, the door is literally shutting behind Xanth. Okay. You know, I'll look at Tank and kind of tug on uh, your lead on and point and it's like, D- should we help with that? Um, do you know how to heal people? No. I. Do you know I how just... to calm people down? Yenna it... gives her a very, like, <laughs> eloquent look. I was, I was like... gonna say, if if she looks long enough to, like, catch Tink's eye at all, he'll kind of, he'll kind of give her a, a little, like, it's it's fine. Like like a little like don't <laughs> don't worry about me. Like I assume Belial has not abandoned him in this moment. Uh <laughs> along with the other nice. heads of houses. Nice uh, assumption. I will say Hyunwu is also like pushing up his sleeves um and looks determined as he heads over. Yeah. Oh. Aww. Yeah. It was just <laughs> Yana's just like, do I look like someone who calms people down? <laughs> <laughs> you calm me down. <laughs> I mean that's that's different. I I can go up there and boss them around. Sometimes that's effective. You know, a strong leader can can really do wonders in situations where people um feel kind of unsure about things. H- having somebody to give direction. Okay. Not, no, no, I'm not saying that you have to do. I'm just, uh, you know, if if you wanted to help, if if that feels like what we need to do right now. I don't know. I everything is. Everything is fucked up. So yeah. um, we either help with that or we go find the adults. I think if we find the adults and figure out what's going on with that, um, they will be able to overall help more than we can in the moment. I hope. <laughs> As the DM just laughs in the background. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean... Oh. We got Balthazar's just taking a long bath. <laughs> put the rock somewhere else and was like I don't want to hear it yeah these kids will be fine for one fucking night <laughs> <laughs> having a bath together oh god that is <laughs> we walk in and we're like oh, oh, oh no oh, oh my god I'm so, I'm so... <laughs> god yeah that's just stupid keep like... your fan theories for after the show guys <laughs> this is, this is right, exactly Adel. why Tink can't come with you guys <laughs> <laughs> the real reason Tink doesn't want to go. It's like, oh no, I'm I'm busy. I'm, I'm really I need busy. to stay here. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, I'll be like, I'm gonna go go help him. You work for him. I just points at at Tink. Cool. So we're gonna yeah. go, yeah. I I think so. Uh, do you think? Oh God, I'm I'm a little worried about Monty. That that was a weird situation. That was, I don't even know if that was a good idea. I'll be honest. I I don't think that you being close to the basilisk again is good. Is a good idea. Not not necessarily that it's gonna hurt you, but just that like I think uh, it's upsetting to be around for you, right? So. Yeah. Should probably okay. avoid the basement situation. Yeah. And you just, Yenna just looks so tired. Like, clearly <laughs> it has Aww. exhaustion written all over her face. It's just like, this is not how I thought our first, like, date was gonna go. No, me neither. Alright, let's go. Uh, let's, let's go find Balthazar. Okay. She'll, uh, she'll take Yenna's hand. Yeah. And then they can try to figure out where to go. I guess to his office first. Yeah. Would be the probably. intention. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, are you going to leave through the front way, or through the main if door, po- if possible? Yeah. yeah whatever is going to get us there what, fastest. Yeah. Probably. Whatever is the most like straight, <laughs> straightforward way to get out. Yeah, that would be through the front door. So essentially, you'd yeah. be following Xanth out, um, and around through campus. Monty. Yes. 
you have a small herd of snakes following you. Mm -hmm. Wherein snake is a cute descriptor for what is a ginormous serpent. Um, yeah. Got my snakes. How do you plan to get into the murder basement? Um, I plan on uh, just just walking in. Um, okay. The like the entrance in uh, the I had actually intended that I was going to go the entrance by the lake okay. rather than the entrance through the um, uh, hospital wing. Uh, because entrance yeah, by the lake, I we have hadn't specified. Idea. We hadn't specified yeah. last time. Yeah, so I was gonna yeah uh, by the lake because that will lead me right to where I need to be, and there's very little risk of running into say, uh, a st another student uh, or a cleric or someone in the hospital wing who could end up petrified. Okay. So to get to the other side of the lake where the cavern system that you've entered these uh, system of tunnels before, yep. you have to go through a portion of forested area. Yep. It's like a, a small wilderness reserve, essentially, that the school backs onto. Mm -hmm. As you come upon the lake past Atticus House, I would like you to roll perception. Uh, that's a ten. A ten. Good to know. Yeah. It's that strange point of night where the lights have gone down, but because of how well lit the campus is now, there are reflections across the water and through the trees that kind of make the shadows dance. It's quite picturesque. Um, are you going to stick close to the water's edge or are you going further into the forest? What are you thinking of doing? I'm sticking by the, the water's edge. Because um, I don't know the hey. forest very well. I don't think I'd ever actually, apart from like a couple times running through it, I hadn't ever really been in the forest. So. All right. So you lead your procession of snakes, procession mm -hmm. of basilisks, who are blinkered but are following you via scent as opposed to nice. sight. My snake parade. Your snake parade, yes. Um, <laughs> as you lead them around the water's edge and you get part way to the other side of the lake, I would like you once more to roll perception. That is a 20 bun. A 21? Mm-hmm. Oh, fantastic. There are lights in the water of the lake, um, <laughs> and there are also lights in the caverns. Okay. The lights is... in the caverns are moving around. They're not static. Um, and the lights in the middle of the lake, you notice that there are bubbles above them. Well, this is this is odd. Um, I'm going to just uh continue <laughs> leading my snake for. A Towards the caverns. <laughs> like a fucking dumbass. Right. Good. Good to know. Xanth, I would like you to roll survival to follow Monty. Oh, good. A survival and perception are my two strongest attributes. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, eight. Hey, with an eight, you you know where Monty is going. You okay. head to the hospital wing. Okay. Uh, and I, I don't. I'm still. I go through the school. I don't go through where Monty's uh, trajectory is headed. Right. Like you are too far behind, unfortunately, to see exactly where Monty is. Mm -hmm. Um. So yes, you'd be going around the other side of the school to where Monty and the Snake Parade are. Okay. Um. 
which means that as you head towards the hospital wing, which is all the lights are on, it's fairly busy this time of night, the night staff are there. Um, you know that around the back of the building is where the entrance that you guys had used in the first loop is. Mm -hmm. As you head that way, I would like you to roll perception. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, 15. There's not a door there this time. What, what's there? What? <laughs> The last time that you'd been to this area, there had been a door that it looked as though it led to a cellar, yes, but there were two hollows on either side of it that you could put stones in to unlock the doors. Uh -huh. That area of the school no longer seems to be there. In fact, as you go around the back of the hospital wing, there's a whole nother wing there now. So it's just like a wall where the door used to be? Yeah. This building where the door used to be. What? Um, this is going to go in the oh. Rocky Talkies. It's just like, there, there is no there is no there is no murder basement anymore. I don't there's nothing here. Uh, the murder basement is what we went through Ep 1 for us, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you what do you mean? There's nothing there. Like like uh, the the wall is blocked up. Like maybe the door was covered or it's like a different building now. It's like a it's there's it's just more of the hospital. There's no basement. Oh, they wait. Could it be an illusion? Uh, Sans will try casting the spell magic. As you cast dispel magic. You feel the weave ripple through the air and attach to something on the exterior of the building. And okay. as you watch, a rolling wave of magic comes crashing down and just seems to close in on itself. And what had looked as though it was another building attached to the hospital wing now reveals itself to be made of different materials that are far older. You are looking at a timber frame building that backs onto the hospital wing. Okay. Imagine, if you will, um, like a Georgian building made out of white brick backing so, onto a Tudor house. Do mm. I get the feeling that they just used an illusion to make the building look better? Or is it a different is it like a hidden building? You don't know. You just know that an illusion came down. <laughs> like, <laughs> what you well, think it, about it is up to like, you. <laughs> does it, I guess how to put this right. It's like all the foundations, like the doors and the windows are in the same place. Or is it like completely different than what the illusion was? It's completely different to what the illusion was. It's I uh, I um there is a different building after I took the magic down. I'm gonna go inside it. Oh, okay. Um. Uh, <laughs> looks at Yana <laughs> and mouths. Should we go? <laughs> no, that's that's weird. I mean, if it's a fake building, people would notice, right? Like the footprint would be wrong, because that's part of the medical wing, isn't it? <laughs> But I mean, I mean, the, the only, the only reason that we know that something's different is because we've been in loops, and and we and we know that it looked different before. I mean, no, like if you look at the outside of the building, and it's got the illusion of there's a wing there, and then if you go inside <laughs> the hospital wing, and you can't get to that wing, people will figure that out. Like that's how you find hidden that's rooms: is you compare footprints to actual reachable space. So this is just I, listening to this on the yeah. rocky talkie oh, right now. You know, <laughs> you know if you're gonna put a secret like you know God safe room. Caves. What? what? Excuse me? <laughs> oh I, you the caves are bad. Yeah no shit, but that's where I'm going. No wait, well, fucking well, uh, Monty, I swear to Zanth, Where are you? <laughs> Zanth, before you start yelling at Monty, I need you to make a wisdom save. Okay. Cool. Oh my god. 
Good, good, oh, good, 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 good. No, we're, good, we're doing great, good, guys. Very good. <laughs> we we oh, split, we the, split party. the party, Babs. I love the party so much. I was trying so Look, hard I'm, to keep I am the only fucking boy that hasn't died yet, so maybe it's my turn. <laughs> oh my god. Xanth, um, you have an, you have uh, inspiration. I do. <laughs> but it's a uh, D8. It, it, boys gender neutral. Um, D eight for the <laughs> for the inspiration, right? Yep, it's a D eight for the inspiration. Okay, which so is a good totally... time to tell everybody watching that if you would like to actually contribute to the game that we are playing, you can purchase a D uh, like a, a natural twenty or inspiration for the players or me <laughs> by so giving us just, just the players, just the players. Don't worry about it. Just the players. No, so no, no. Fine. You can give it to me too. No, 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 no. no. Thank you, Seal, because uh, the wisdom save is now um twenty two. <laughs> so okay, okay, all right. That's good to know. <laughs> okay, cool. you can continue yelling at Monty now. Yeah, I, I the yell went through to Monty. <laughs> Where where are you, Monty? Um, I'm by the lake. Okay, can you drop the snakes off at the lake and come back and re? I I'm gonna drop the snakes off in the murder basement where I told them I was gonna bring them. It's not even in the same place. How do you know if you're gonna be able to get through by the lake this time? Why wouldn't the murder basement be by the lake? Like that's like it was in the lake. It was it was in the cavern, like I, right next I'm, to the lake. I'm 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 coming. Where what part of the forest are you in? Uh, almost at the cavern. Do I know where that is, DM? <laughs> Roll me a history check. Or actually, a survival check to see if you can put it in place on campus. Oh, good. Um, eleven. Uh, you remember that it was on the lake. You don't quite remember where or what side. To be fair, every time that you've gone there, it's been in a mad panic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Monty, I'm I'm gonna try to find you. Don't. Just, just wait for me this time, please. You no, know, Xanth, I, I'm gonna do this alone. I don't want you to get hurt. I don't I want can... you to get hurt. You're literally with fucking Basilis right now that my brother fucking sent here. Yeah, but I can talk to them, and if need be, I can turn into a snake. Um. And yeah, it's 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 fine. I don't uh, I don't I don't want you I don't want you to get hurt. Monty, I don't think this is a good idea. I think you're by yourself, and I think this is not uh the best situation you should put yourself in right now. Look, I'll I'll be. If I die, it was the worst I could have, and we just be reset in the next loop, anyways. I and exactly the same point. Listen, we're it's your, it's your brother. You're just your brother's the one who's causing all the trouble with this right now, and you are much better much better suited, much better place to be able to solve it. If if any of us were to die in this loop, I'm the one who's least important. Okay, I'm gonna come nope. over to the lake. Yeah. I want you to wait for me. But... Um, was this over all of the stones? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I was gonna say, like, as soon as Monty <laughs> says, like, <laughs> I would be the person who is best to die, um, regardless of whatever Tink is doing right now, he just stops and goes like, you don't get to talk like that. We, we can't. No one 
is dying. Okay? Stay safe. I'm not Wait for not... Sam. And then he disappears okay. again. Because <laughs> he's busy. <laughs> He's got shit to take care of. He doesn't. Have to, he doesn't. <laughs> he has too much shit to take care of, and this has all just been going on in, in his little ear. And he's just like, "Oh my god, I'm trying to focus." <laughs> and then he he's busy. I heard he's pissy. <laughs> I, like, I mean, both. <laughs> I would be both, given the situation. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Um, He's like before he heads out to the forest, gonna go on the rocky talkies. Uh, can someone, if you guys see Hex, can you make sure that she's not dead or injured? Um, Monty, if if you don't fucking wait for me, we're gonna. I'm I'm gonna fucking. I'm I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna do something, but it's not gonna be good. <laughs> he just goes <laughs> to the forest before you go to the lake mm -hmm. i need you to roll another wisdom save oh my okay. god what is Do going I feel that on this is in that house nothing good um you can roll me a perception check to see if you feel it or not uh, all the wisdom rolls so the perception check was a four um <laughs> so that's a no the wisdom save was a oh a, a 13 I could re-roll it, but I don't feel like I'm going to get much better than that. I see. <laughs> don't, oh, God. don't you fucking, don't you use your DM words on me, come on. <laughs> uh, what building? There was never a building there. You leave behind, no, like, you were just around the back of the hospital wing. You didn't find what you wanted to. So I don't, I don't remember the building after I leave? Yeah. Okay, cool. cool Do cool, we cool. remember the conversation about the building? Yes, you, we weren't you, there. You remember the conversation about the building. Xanth okay. is the only one affected by the spell. Okay, okay, interesting. That is, hmm. Yuli's notes will be the only thing that can keep us sane. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> gribbles furiously. <laughs> For real. Oh my god. Um, Yana's gonna look at Yuli. It's like, um. I really want to find, the, I want to find the guys, but I, I think we might have to go to see, see Monty. Yeah, that was that was fucked up. That, that I know. Was... I'm I'm yeah. worried that one or 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 both of them is going to do something really dumb. So maybe <laughs> we should try to find them. Yeah, I mean, Seth is kind of capable, but I don't know if talking is going to work on giant snake. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um yes. Let's go. Uh what if 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 um if things get scary and you need to leave, can I just take you out of there? Uh Yeah. Baby, uh, what does that mean? Are you just I, I, I just mean if, 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 if it seems like you are um, panicking, can I try to help you get out of the situation or will you be mad at me for doing that? I'm never going to get mad at you for you trying to like help me. I, I think it'll be okay. I'm going to try not to panic. I, that's, that's the plan. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I well okay. I'll, yeah, I'll let you know. don't panic. <laughs> yeah, I'll, okay. I'll let I'll I'll let you know. I I don't know. <sighs> okay, and she's just like taking like not hyperventilating, but just like really clearly like calming herself. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, they're kind of ahead of us. Do you want to fly? Oh <gasps> yes. Okay. Let's. Uh, technically. Uh, which I can only make one of us fly. <laughs> oh, um, do you want to fly, or do you do you want me to fly and carry you? <laughs> Yuli blushes. Um, I mean, if you want to carry me, that would be. I would. I would be. That would be fine. I would be fine with that. Okay. 
Um, and she is gonna push his fingers together, <laughs> and is going to like sort of awkwardly, but then like figure out like, okay, I can just like hook my arm under legs, and then is gonna pick up you like. Yay! Yay. I'm not gonna make you roll anything for this because it's too fucking cute. Please do it. <laughs> I have no. We are gonna make you draw that. this though. Um, <laughs> I can do that. That's easy. Um, but yeah, uh, and they're gonna fly, and it's pretty fast. It's like 120 feet is nice around. So she's gonna get pretty high up so that she can try to have like a good view of like. If, to help try to spot the boys. From your vantage point, I would like you both to roll perception. Okay. Okie dokie. <laughs> Disadvantage. 17. Well, not bad. 14. Well, 17 and 14. Okay. Um, Jenna, you first noticed that once more, it's very well lit. Um, and there appear to be lights over the lake, but it's a little bit strange because from where you are, you know that that shouldn't be directional light. It looks as though it's coming from in the lake itself. Um, Yuli, you spot the snake parade. Mm -hmm. You also spot the lights. Is it the same light that I saw when when the boys walked in? Ding, ding, ding. We have a winner. It's coming from the center of the lake. You okay. also notice the moving flickers coming from the cavern. Although those are harder to see from your vantage point. Oh Yana, Yana, Yana! The 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 the, the um and the, the sorry, sorry. Um the light in the in the water. Do you remember when I was talking about the um when Brick when the they, they walked into the water and, uh -huh. and I said that there was a light and it that is the right. light. That's the light. Oh, do you think they're mermaids? Do, do you I, think that like, I, the rumors are true? I don't know if it's if, if if it's mermaids or if there's just like um some sort of a um a magical setup to get under the water or 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 I'm not sure, but I would like okay. you both to roll another perception. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm halfway. Eight. Wait. Yes. <laughs> eight. One. Oh my gosh. We both get eight. We did. Yeah, we we did. both did. roll eight. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, no, please continue your enthusiasm. It's all good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. We're definitely onto something here. That's the light, yeah. my dude. <laughs> So Yenna will actually then fly kind of like close to the surface of the water if possible. So like see if maybe they can see something through the water. The boys are in danger, but this is fascinating. <laughs> in danger, yeah. <laughs> you have great snakes. You have you're in danger. How far away from the water would you like to get? I would say like a safe distance to not get grabbed by anything in the water. <laughs> like you need 10 to feet. Okay, surface. ten feet. All right, <laughs> ten feet from the surface. So you eight. fly lower. Yeah. You head ain't towards. No... Ain't no. Ain't no arms coming out of the water and pulling us under. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it's a giant kraken with really long arms? Well, Don't then we're that. fucked, aren't we? Yeah, then we're just hosed anyway. Jenna thinks there's mermaids. She thinks she Jenna. Can... The closer you fly to the surface of the water, the more you see there are very large shadows swimming through the light that's under there. Do they look like <laughs> humanoid shadows? Yeah, like, what are the shapes? Vaguely. Um, roll me perception to see if you can make them out. Mm. Ah. Oh, that's a nine. <gasps> Nineteen! Hmm. Yana, to you, they're just like wibbly shapes. It's a little bit hard to keep a hold of Yuli, make sure that you're a safe distance away, and get a good look in. Um, Yuli, the longer you look, the more you think that you can make out an arm, the more you think that you can make out a head, the more they start to look humanoid. Um... I'm going to uh, conjure a rock 
<laughs> and drop it in the water. Oh, she fuck no. Okay, <laughs> are, are you aiming for anything? Or yeah, I want it. I want it to fall on one of the shadows, and I want to see what the shadow does. <laughs> <laughs> Just roll me a straight d20 to throw this rock. Okay. <laughs> a 19. 19? Yeah. I don't know if it's good or bad to roll high right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're just going to hit a mermaid in the forehead. Yeah, literally. <laughs> We're like, it's... well, I'm on the mermaid shit list for the rest of my time at this school. <laughs> It's not so much a uh, a throw as it is timing your drop perfectly yes. to make sure that it gets on something. And you hear the bloop as it hits the lake, just a little bloop, um, to immediately see that this rock has definitely hit something underneath, mainly because something comes swimming straight to the surface <laughs> and bursts through the water. Yeah. Fucking hit a mermaid, dude. The first thing that you see is that this is not human. Uh oh. Okay. Humanoid was an overestimation. What reaches towards you are clawed fingers with webbed hands that at no point in time have looked as though they were human's hands. The face that tries to follow it out of the water is kind of um too blocky to be human. And the eyes are too far over to the sides of the face. And as the mouth opens, it's filled with nothing but needle-sharp teeth as it reaches for the both of you. But we're out of rage, right? <laughs> Stares at the DM, right? Because right. <laughs> they can't jump ten feet out of the water, right? <laughs> um... Can I just say, I am, right now, I am the Anakin Skywalker meme. <laughs> um, I need you to roll a deck save. Oh my god. Hey, yeah. A twelve. Twelve? Yep. The thing... It's almost as though it's jet propelled and as it jumps towards you, you see that what you had mistaken for legs is actually quite a sinuous, strong tail. Hmm. Mm. Okay. And as it bursts out of the water, it's going to take a grab at your tail. You know? No. Absolutely. Absolutely not. If... <laughs> Fuck that. Hold on. Um, and... Because of your deck save, wet, clammy hands wrap around your tail and try to yank you down into the lake. Yeah. Does this thing have eyes? Yes, on the sides of its head. Um, okay. Okay, cool. Um, we're gonna do a, uh, thunderclap, because fuck that. Go for it. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. uh, Constitution and saving throw DC 15. Okay. Let me roll, let me roll. I haven't got my dice yet. Danny, do you still have inspiration? I do. Okay. I don't just... think I've used it yet. I should have used it there. That would have been sure. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say because it, it it's still on on screen, and I have been trying to do my best to like take them off. Um, yeah, but yeah. Well, that roll oh. was a little bit low. Okay. So I am going to use my DM inspiration. You're very rude. Wow. Well, <laughs> this is Rex's fault. <laughs> oh goodness. <laughs> Um, that's a little better. What was it that I had to beat again? A fifteen. A fifteen. That's a seventeen. Motherfucker. Uh, um. Yep. That's a saver sack. 
you feel like the weave tr you try and like force it into what you want it to do but obviously you know some strange creature has a hold of your tail and is trying to use its weight to drag you down into water with the the panic of it and how much this creature is thrashing it's difficult to cast a spell can i um conjure oil like a thing of oil to try and make him slip off <laughs> go for it you Great. have you have this turn, and then you'll be in the water. I conjure oil and pour it on her tail to try and get this thing to slip off. Okay. All right. You conjure oil. Put it Yarp. on Yenna's tail. Yarp. And so I'm going to roll... This is so weird. Roll for grip strength? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know what that would be. I'm going to say sleight of hand. <laughs> or should it be an athletics check? It feels more like a dex mm. thing. I was going to say it it's all your call, yeah. friend. It is my call. I'm just, I'm just thinking it. <laughs> Points itself. I'm the DM. Oh, natural 20 for you, Lee. Oh, hell yes. Thank you. <laughs> oh, that was a five. So as it tries to hold on, you see it takes several different swipes at Yenna's tail, and every single one has it sliding down further and further. Yenna, this is incredibly uncomfortable and painful for you until yeah. its grip finally fails, and there's a sh as it lands back in the lake. Yeah, uh, Yenna sitting away from the surface of the water, just flying straight up like that how how up would you like to fly um like minimum 60 feet <laughs> okay because the moment that it lands back in the water you see another six of them attempt to jump out oh my yeah, god no, we're moving the full <laughs> amount of distance that she can move it around which is so good news <laughs> there are mermaids <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bad mermaid. oh my Don't god like the the whole time that we're flying after that, Yuli's like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I should not have dropped that in there. I am so sorry about that. Are you okay? I am so sorry. Yenna, you are more concerned about the fact that these things can definitely jump about 30 feet out of the water. Yeah. Uh, it, look, it was an experiment. I, sometimes experiments are bad. Oh, God. I'm not okay. <laughs> And it's just, um, okay, okay. And they have gone 130 oh, feet in the air. Roll me perception, both of you, from 130 feet in the air. Oh my god. <laughs> They're sky mermaids. Uh, uh, <laughs> the dirty 20. I really uh, want to peep these things. <laughs> I'm so bad right now. I have a nat 20. Mm -hmm. And a, a nat one. <laughs> oh, I see. You also have a D8 of inspiration. But that's, that's not going to do you much good. One. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably not. Um, <laughs> so, Yenna, no. You, you don't even want to look anymore. You're done. <laughs> You're done. There are, there's a snake parade on the other side of the lake. <laughs> You're going to go for that. Yuli? Yeah. As you're apologizing and all of these platitudes fall out, you notice that the light has changed under the lake. Okay. And it has become, instead of the warm yellow that it was when you were, fl when you were flying over it, it has now become this chilling blue color. Okay. And ever so slowly, a hole appears in the lake. Oh! <gasps> fuck. Not a, not like a, a wormhole or a water pool or anything like that. Just a hole. As though a neat section of water has just been cut out. Mm, do I see anything go in or come out of it? No, but as you watch, it gets slightly bigger. And slightly bigger. Uh. And then it starts to become longer. As though a tunnel is being made through the water. Okay. Secret tunnel. 
Oh my god, I knew one of you was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, one more time. What what color was the light before it turned and it became chilling blue? It was a warm yellow. Mm, okay. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I'm done. Fuck you guys. <laughs> you can't describe a body of water as warm yellow. I was describing the light. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got chat on it. <laughs> the light is in the water. I'm not wrong. Um, Yuli specifically would not say this to Yenna because. She would, she would plan to tell her about it later. <laughs> Are you going to continue watching to see what happens? I mean, as long as I'm able to see, I think I would. But if we were, like, about to land next to the snakes, then, you know, she would redirect her attention. So as long as we're in the sky flying and stuff is still happening to this fucking lake, yeah, Yuli would watch it. Okay, Yana is concentrating on trying to find boys. Yeah. Stupid, stupid boys. The boys are not hard to find. You can, from your vantage point, you can see the snake parade and you can see. <laughs> snake parade. <laughs> you can I really see Zanth, like, catching up behind. It's like, it's not hard to see them. Cool. Yeah, so Yuli. Yarp. As you are watching the water part. You see two figures walking through the middle of it mm -hmm. towards the shore. They are very small from where you can see them, though, as they've the the cross section, if you will, of water that has disappeared definitely leads down to the lake. So they are a good two hundred, three hundred feet below you. That lake is deep. Okay. Does one is one brick shaped, or are these different people? <laughs> one is vaguely brick shaped. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yena, are you heading towards the snake parade? Yeah, we're we're definitely trying to catch up. So however okay, long it, that takes. It will not take you very long to get to the snake parade, about as long as it does for Xanth to be sort of semi-catch-up, since Monty has stopped, haven't you, Monty? Yeah, Monty I have stopped. stopped. Good, good. <laughs> Monty's like, nope, I'm in the tunnel, I'm the other shape. <laughs> you think it's a brick, but really. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just it's sitting me. here. The other oh my is god, is Monty brick shape? <laughs> <laughs> no, the other shape vaguely brick shaped because the other shape is three snakes. <laughs> yeah. Man, God. one of those boys is so tall. <laughs> <laughs> I am also six foot three, so I am a tall boy. <laughs> I, uh, I'm sorry. The other the other shape is just three snakes in a trench coat. Yeah, like, I exactly. <laughs> God, I need new glasses, dude. <laughs> As Monty, or sorry, as Xanth kind of catches up with Monty, can I do something real fast that might be... Might yeah, yeah, be, of course. Of course might, you can. I don't know if you'll be prepared for this, so I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Xanth is just going to like kind of put his hand on my shoulder. Can you just, can you watch me for a second? I'm just going to, I'm just going to check on cheese. I'm just, it, it's going to be, and then he... Uh, <laughs> It's gonna be weird. And then he um goes and looks through Cheese's eyes to see what Cheese sees, I guess. <laughs> okay, um well what Cheese sees is your back. Oh, he's with me? Yeah, he's behind okay. you. Okay. Well, that's good to know that. Like <laughs> he's gen he's genuinely like about a hundred feet away, so he's not very close by, but mm -hmm. when you go look through his eyes, you see the lake on one side, the forest on the other, and you a small figure as he's trying to go catch up. And you just oh, hear the excited little pants so as he's like legs. running after you with his little legs. Yeah. Yeah, huh? okay. Yeah, he pops back out of uh just blazing his eyes over for a second. Okay. Uh cheese is coming if you wanna wait a couple of minutes for him. Yeah, we 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 can wait. Um, I 
never seen you in your changeling form. It's... I like it. Uh, so it turns, uh, well, green, because he blushes <laughs> with green. Thanks. I, um, I figured there wasn't really much consequence to it today because it's just gonna, no one's gonna remember any of this, so. It's, it's good to see the, the real you. Thanks. I, it's nice of you to say. Yeah. Monty just like looks, looks over his shoulder and like rubs the back of his head uh, nervously. <laughs> Yeah, uh, no eye contact. <laughs> very, very bright red. Mm -hmm. So they are quite the pair, or they quite the Christmassy pair. Yeah. And immediately a small corgi dog blinks between the both of you to just kind of plop in, in the sand. Almost as though the dog had remembered that it could blink. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, Jesus. It's sticking around now, I think. Um, do you want? Monty's <laughs> gonna bend down and put his hand out to like have see if, if Cheese will sniff the palm of his hand, and Cheese doesn't sniff the palm of your hand. Cheese licks the palm of your hand. I am delighted. I give him right. a little belly rub through the top gonna... of his head and like, are your snakes gonna try to? Um, eat him. Yeah, Monty, what are your snakes gonna do? <laughs> um, Monty turns to his snakes and goes, please don't- His snakes. <laughs> please don't eat my friend and my friend's corgi. We um, really should have, like, named this episode Monty Becomes the Heir of Slytherin. <laughs> <laughs> I am imagining it all. No, because like, then we get attention really silly to parcel term. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no. Let's not give attention to transphobes. Okay, we're good. <laughs> yeah. And um, and yeah. Monty, I will say at this point, your speak with animals will have faded. Okay, I'm going to cast speak with animals again. Um. Well, there goes that idea to get out of doing a Welsh accent. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Um, no, you know, spell have doesn't work do... anymore. For some <laughs> <reason>. <laughs> the DM. Accent. There are two. There are two other snakes. Uh, Bold of you to assume they also wouldn't have friend, like Welsh accents. Like, come your, on. Man. These are your snakes. Yeah. Like, you can, Look. Yeah, all I'm snakes. saying. All I'm saying is that in-world continuity is important. Texas snake, <laughs> Texas snake, Texas snake, Texas snake. Make one of the New Yorker voice. Well, uh, yeah. how do y'all? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's strange. You were lost just a little while ago. Uh, got that's a well. question for me, little partner. <laughs> perfect. Not perfect. All perfect. 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 Oh my god. Wales. Yes. Can be from elsewhere in the world. Um, please, please don't eat my, my friends, um, and I, I, yeah, like, like, like them, I, I'd like them to, to, to stay whole, please, I know they, they probably smell tasty, um, but they're, they're not for eating. I say you're asking quite a lot of me not to eat that they are small dog. <laughs> For I could swallow that thing whole, and it would still be in one piece. But uh, that dog can is is a blink corgi, um, and I don't know what blink corgis would do to your intestines because I don't really know how blink works. Um, so it could I, I don't know if it like creates like a a, a like vacuum when it blinks, and I don't know if it would would cause all of your- this is not a very nice conversation. Don't eat the blink corgi because he's gonna try to escape and that can make things really really bad for you and I just- I don't want things to go badly for you. I really just want you well, all to no. be- 
Well now, little partner, that does uh, that does sound like a mighty convincing idea. Do I hear okay. Monty's side of this at all? Or is yes, it... yes, you do. You that can hear gonna... Monty's side of it. It's a spell, but you can only hear Monty's side of it. You can't that hear the basilisk. You pop uh, cheese at the mention of eating him and put him on his shoulder, just backing up a couple steps. And but don't worry, you're not going to eat. You're not going to eat cheese. Uh-huh. Can Yenna and Yuli have arrived? <laughs> yes, Yenna and Yuli can definitely have arrived. Please save me from having to do this cowboy snake again. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can do that, but um, right, we're we're going into we're going to go into the caverns now. Um, yeah, and and hopefully, and and if they are as I remember them. Uh, it'll be a place that you all can can slither around happily. That sounds like a fine idea. I'm glad. As Yenna arrives. Yeehaw. Oh my god. Yee fucking haw. Xander got them, so we know for the third time this happens. I fucking hate you. Right now. <laughs> uh, okay. Um. Yeah. So, dude, I I know that that your friend um mentioned that you were in in boxes, but do you do you remember anything before the boxes? I remember being trapped in darkness, and I remember the sweet, soft sound of my mother hissing at me from beyond my egg. But before that point, before that point, on which I hatched into that box of a room, I remember the voices of men. Oh my god. The voices of men? They were dark, charming voices, and they came out from beyond what I could hear inside my shell. And they spoke of revolution. The revolution. Um. Revolutionary. What sort of revolution were they talking about? The. Uh, you have to understand, I have very little basis for comparison. Um, but what sort of things were they saying in regards to revolution? And Monty is at this point walking with the snakes, because Yuli and Yenna have arrived, so they're just progressing towards the caverns. Well, when I was within my shell, I heard a lot more from these, they are uh, people. And uh, they were speaking about how the lower class was under heel, and it was grinding in until some would die. Were they talking about that like a good thing or a bad thing? They were talking about that like it was a thing to be changed, and I cannot say that I'm sorry about that. No, I, I don't. I think that should. Well, I, I think that should be changed. Um, right. Uh, were these voices the same ones who brought you here? Were they different voices? There was one voice above the many that would change that stayed the same. <laughs> one consistent tone. The same of the person who would train us, who would make us family, who would drag us out into the open and turn us into weapons. Do you want to be weapons? I say I would not like to be a weapon, but I would like to be fed. Right. I don't want to be a weapon either. I think that is the right of all living things to not want to be used by other living things. Machi just says, yeah. Yeah, it is. My friend, and... it sounds as though you are a kindred spirit. <laughs> I'm happy that we have found you among our little slithering pack. 
Yeah. I I never thought that basilisk snakes that everyone would that, that there were It's all right, child. You you need say no more. I understand. <laughs> I understand. Yeah. I, I too did not think that I would find a kindred in the two legs. Uh, we, my friends and I are, we're, we're trying to fix this mess. And I should say that in any attempt that you may make, you can count on me. I cannot see for my brothers. I, I dare not. No. And Jeffrey, no, well, no. Jeffrey isn't too smart. So he kind of motions to the basilisk that you haven't talked to yet. <laughs> <laughs> but if you ride, um, we can ride with you. Thank you. What is, what is your your name? My name. <laughs> I'm sorry. As a DM who has not named these basilisks at all at this point and did not expect them to yeah. become characters, the only thing that just jumped into my head was Western Jeffrey. That's his name. <laughs> now. Good old Western Jeff. I will be disappointed if I hear any other names from this point. Like, yeah. <laughs> so Western Jeffrey, with but is it's oh shit? What's well, the Jeffrey. name of the Jeffrey? Ain't mom, known. It's Jeffrey. Jeffrey ain't not too smart. I'm Western Jeffrey, and uh, that there, that there is Southern Jeff. Southern Jeff. Wait, so is, is Jeffrey is is Jeffrey the one that that is the Welsh one? No, Jeffrey's the one that you haven't spoken to yet. Okay, so, so Southern Western Jeff Jeffrey... is the Welsh one. <laughs> okay, he's not Jeffrey of Monmouth. I'm disappointed that that we could be <laughs> that that show did have. Um, it's not Jeffrey Chaucer. Uh, right. So Western Jeffrey. Um, interesting choice of names there, all Jeffrey. Uh, is it a saintly family name? <laughs> <laughs> well, there, son, I, I have to do say that I would not know for I was hatched in isolation. I have not known what my family names would have been. I'm sorry about that. I Thank grew up in isolation, but I was with my family. Sometimes that is a miracle, and sometimes that ain't. Fuck, yeah. The snake has more wisdom than I do. Like, <laughs> yeah. It. It ain't. It ain't a miracle. Um, then I too am sorry. DM, are we at the caverns now? <laughs> 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 I can see you. Revolutionary snake haunting I... us bonded. I don't know. You were having some serious <laughs> character development with a snake there. Um... <laughs> I, I know. I know, and I was like, I can continue having serious character development with a snake, but I don't know if we want to have serious plot development. <laughs> Well, Yuli and Yenna have definitely joined you at this point. So Yuli, yeah. Yenna, you join into this state of Monty is just talking to a snake and getting very emotional. <laughs> and Xanth has cheese. Yeah. I like to imagine that while Monty's having this conversation, the rest of us are in the background, like kind of making eye contact with each other. That yeah. basically means like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> but like not wanting like, to interrupt. You know, like walking like slowly, just like, okay, I guess we won't just interrupt this, but. <laughs> yeah, Yana is just like, deeply like disturbed by this. It's like, oh no. Are these things going to become like, Pets, and we're gonna have to deal with these on a regular basis. Yeah, no like, thoughts of following the DMs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, she's like partially behind Sam. DM is like, how do I kill the snakes? <laughs> I know I can kill the snakes somehow. Yeah. I have to make it look natural. <laughs> but yeah, Yana is like, shield. Oh wow. 
Tink, <laughs> okay. you've heard a lot of this conversation over the stones. Have I? Were you planning... <laughs> you've heard some of it. Not what's been going on with Monty, definitely not. But you've heard Xanth heading back towards Monty. Um... And I think, Yuli Yenna, you used the stones before you set off as well, didn't you? Or am I misremembering that? Uh, we we um, went on the stones to be like, Balthazar, where are you? And then mm -hmm. came out from under the table and made meaningful eye contact with Tink. And I think that was the extent of it. I think it's like a little bit about, like, the caverns are bad. So it's very oh, clearly... Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Right. right. Um, it really depends. Because we talked to Xanth when he saw it, when he found the false wall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It it really depends on uh, what else is going on right right now. Like, what has Tink found himself in? How easy is this to coordinate, or is this like a if he leaves, it's going to be really conspicuous? At this point. You are definitely mired in running and fetching things for the healers who are on site. And yeah. maybe even lending your own healing towards things. There aren't many people to see to. There's about 15 in total who were injured during everything that happened. Okay. Um, and most of the others who were well enough have kind of filtered out. It's just the friends of these 15 who are still milling around. Okay. The teachers have not been found yet. There are still no professors around. Did did Belial stick around? And where's Lawrence? <laughs> Lawrence is sticking to you at this point, I think. Mainly because the moment anybody sees you because you put yourself on the stage, you are the person that everybody is asking questions. Yeah. yeah. Um, roll me a perception to see whether or not you can still see Belial. Very rude. Uh, <laughs> I I think I think the answer might be uh, no no I think it might be no. Uh, it's uh, thirteen. The answer is no. You cannot see Belial currently. Okay. This bitch. Um. Good guy. But yeah, at at this point, do things look like? Mostly, um, mostly taken care of. No one is dying, if that's what you're asking. Well, me. no, like no, no one's dying, but like have have the stream of people being like, okay, what do we do? Like, has that sort of started to let up yet, or is he still like in the midst of it? Oh, it's it's started to let up by this point, definitely. Okay. Uh, I think, and a lot of the people who needed treating have been treated at this point. Okay. And Hyunwoo would be around as well, right? Yeah, Hyunwoo is actively treating people. Okay. Because he has a couple of healing spells. Okay. Um, do you want me to burn any spells also as well? That depends. Would you be doing any healing? Uh, of course he would be. He, he, he wouldn't be able to just, like... A, take charge of this and not do anything, and, like, okay. B, just, like, not heal. Then, but... yes, I would like you to burn healing spells equivalent to how many people you would like to treat. Oh, this is this is gonna bode really poorly for later if we need spells, because our advisors have, like, no spell slots. Um, I'm gonna say his lighter is out of commission. Uh, and then I'm I'm just casting a couple uh, cure wounds in my other slots. Okay. So I I would say probably about like like five people. He yeah, I was helped personally. Okay, all right. So five people have been healed by Tink. All right, yeah, I've got that written down. Write that down for the morning newspaper. Oh God, no! He hates being in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, so if it's at the point where things are starting to settle down, uh, I think he'll, like, look to Lawrence and be like, do, do you think anyone would notice if we left? I feel like we should find the others. It does stand quite, uh, 
Yes, no, I do think that we should leave. I haven't seen Monty in quite a while. Yeah, no, I I don't think he's coming. We 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 need to go find him. I think I think that would be good. Um, Indeed, where was that fellow that you were with? I would love to know that. Uh, but ah, I see. Uh, probably just he's he's on the staff at the medical wing. I I don't know. He might have slipped out to get some healing things uh, ingredients what do people use to cast components sorry i'm just gonna i'm just gonna tell him that we're we're uh heading out <laughs> indeed um, i'll put one of the prefects in charge and lawrence is gonna scutter off to one of the prefects okay perfect uh and yeah tink will will let Kenwu know like that he's gonna go catch up with Gina and yuli um and that he's doing good work, and he can he can stay here, and we'll see him back at the dorm. He is going to nod despondently at you and continue healing people. <laughs> he's coming. He's he's coming to terms with the fact that Yenna is maybe in love with someone else. Oh, oh! <laughs> oh. Cover his <laughs> eyes. <laughs> I'm going to die. Uh, I don't even <laughs> say I'm going to die. I, I don't even know if if Tink would be able to like place that <laughs> as <laughs> as a reason. He's like, yeah, he emotion. seems like he's doing good. Yeah, no, he does seem he's like fine. he's doing good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's probably just focused. It's probably fine. Um, <laughs> it, like Tink is notoriously bad at reading. Uh romance related signals so <laughs> he's probably no. fucked there um but he'll, he'll kind of like totally misjudge the situation and like give give his shoulder uh, a little squeeze and be like we'll we'll see you soon everyone will be back soon just hold down the fort here we can. um and is gonna grab lawrence and take off uh, he's gonna do one more, one more look, sweep around the room to see if he can spot Belial. Uh, Roll perception. But... Oh my god, these rolls, these rolls! Oh, it's a seven. You cannot see Belial. I, I, it's a seven, and it, these rolls are so low that I'm not even gonna burn my like <laughs> my last uh, plus five because. So yeah, uh, he's he's going to leave and maybe just shoot Belial like a, a message through their like sending stone uh, that he's gone to meet up with the others because something's still wrong. So as you say that you're going to meet up with the others, Belial is going to answer you and go, oh, where are you headed? I, I'll figure it out in a little bit. I don't quite know. Well, let me know when you know. Okay. And he'll he'll collect Lawrence, and we will. Uh, he'll get on the other sending stones and be like, "Where where, where the fuck are you guys? <laughs> where'd you where'd you end up?" Describes. Just, uh, yeah. Gets, gets Describes. On rock, tells yeah. tells where we are. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Me and too. he'll he'll As basically you... give you like a don't don't wait up, but like I'm I'm coming. And as you hear that message from Tink, you come upon the caverns to see the lights flickering through each of the archways that are just barely visible from your part of shore. Roll me a perception. All of us? Yes, all of you who are looking. Oh. Let's go. I wonder if my dog Twelve. has better perception than me. Can I, can I check? Eleven. Yeah, you can check. Um, he does. <laughs> okay, Um, can I use... Can I have... Uh, Chiefs check instead for me? Yeah, of course you can. It's sight, right? It's not... 
because he gets advantage on wisdom and hearing or no not wisdom uh hearing and smell but it sounds like it's sight yeah it's sight okay no worries uh well never mind he kind of six. <laughs> Would you like to try and roll your own perception, or did you and already failed? Uh, I mean, if if you'll let both of us do it, I would love to. But... Yeah, I, I don't mind letting both of you do it. Okay, well, I got a nine. So... <laughs> okay, so you got a nine. Monty, you got an eleven. Yep. Yana, what did you get? Um, but, but, but. Uh, not good. Uh, four. Yuli? Yerp. What did you get? Twelve. Okay. <laughs> Y'all see nothing but Ooh. lights moving in the distance. <laughs> yeah, that's wow, that's pretty keeping light. an eye on. <laughs> yeah. Keeping an eye on snacks. And see a flicker that could be fire upon the walls of the cavern. Okay. And as we close out for break. I salute you all in being able to see absolutely fucking nothing. We'll see you in a bit, guys. <laughs> We're taking ten. Uh, wow. Go hydrate, go grab a snack, go do some stretches. We'll be back soon. See you in a bit.
Oh, Hi. You're a little early, but that's okay. Hi. 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 We got distracted talking about video games and how I can't play them. We did. Um, and, like, we should start doing a timer because we're really bad at keeping our breaks to just 10 minutes. It's my fault. I sit here, I start eating biscuits, and then I've got one in my mouth every time. Nick's like, should we go back? Yeah, I was going to say, I'm doing great. <laughs> Nick always knows when 10 minutes go by. Yeah, and I try to tell you guys. Okay, you guys okay, all right. <laughs> okay, I have, I have no concept of time, and if you let me, I will avoid doing an intro forever we were trying to let you <laughs> <laughs> welcome back it's part two of hellions of karnak yum 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 that's that's our new intro tasty music yeah yum 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 we <laughs> we left off this is a serious dnd game guys come on come on we left off with you all failing the fucking perception check, um, and me trying to make a cliffhanger, and I should have just told you what you saw, but you don't. So you just saw a bunch of caverns. You were you were in front of a bunch of caverns after leading the snake parade there. Um, Ta-da! And Tink is mm. trying to catch up. Are you guys going to wait for Tink, or are you going to dive straight into the caverns? Because before you, <laughs> glowing lights, eerie lake. The lake also has lights somewhere out there. <laughs> also uh, kind of eerie. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually gonna I'm going to uh I'm going to be awful. Um in that I'm gonna go I'm actually gonna transform into a bat and do recon through the uh through through the the cavern. And I'm just not going to tell everyone that's what I'm doing, and just leave them. The okay. I, with the basilisks. Yes, leave the basilisks are all wearing blinders, and yeah, yeah, the basilisks are all currently blind. Yeah, but they, they have devices following you by scent. I have, I have told the basilisks what I'm doing. But I uh, not you I also told the basilisks that you aren't a human. I did, but the uh, basilisks figured out that I am. So. Oh, did they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they could smell it. I see. Yeah. I was excited for Monty to like frantically turn into a cat and be like, "I was a cat the whole time." <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, can I do a sort of roll to uh, stop Monty <laughs> again um, in my? Mind? You can 100% just stop Monty if you would like to stop Monty. I'm not going to make you roll for that. Okay. I would love to stop Monty. How do you stop me? I fucking grab you. <laughs> okay, well, well, now roll opposed strength checks. Rollies! No, wait, wait, no! <laughs> rollies, rollies, rollies. Rollies. <laughs> not not to to intrude, but since he's a bat, shouldn't it be like Dex checks. You're just trying to catch. True. Them out. Yes. No. It should. It should be dex checks. You are correct. Rollies. Uh, dex good. You know what? I'm just. Hmm. Monty, you're rolling with a bat's dexterity. Wait. No. Actually. I to find that. Do I? Am I aware that if I hit Monty, he will go back to his regular form? <laughs> Is that something Roll. that I know? Roll Arcana, because I don't know if that's something you know either. Uh, 11. <laughs> that is not something that you know. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, so roll is for, for dex, you said? Yeah, dex check. Okay, hold on. I just rolled two dice at the same time by accident. 30, 20. Oh, God. <laughs> I got a natural With one. a bat's dexterity, roll a dirty 20. Yeah, bats have a plus two dexterity. Okay, all right, it's fine. Everything is fine. Um, Zanth, what did you roll? A natural one. Wow. Wow. A bit here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm assuming it does because Monty got a twenty. <laughs> well, I I guess that little bat is going zooming in to do recon. 
Yep. Okay. Well, that's Monty. doing just that because Monty's a dumbass. <laughs> Zant, you watch as this small ginger bat manages to escape your reach. And Monty, you fly higher than Zant can try to follow you before heading towards the caverns. I would like you to roll perception because bat's eyesight is incredibly bad. I would like to flip Monty off. Yes, but I can use, but I have blind sight for 60 feet and I can. You do. Yeah, so I can use echolocation. You can. Um, and so it is a right. So that is actually a uh, wisdom check with keen hearing for bats. So I have advantage on wisdom checks. Yeah, go and for it. And this is sixteen. Yep. Um, I'm going to tell you now. It comes back telling you that it is a cavern with very much the same layout as you are familiar with the caverns here mm -hmm. having, um, and that. In that, there's several pieces of rubble that you know are already there. Um, there are several torches that you know are already there. And a big-ass door. Along with four things that are apparently moving. That may be vaguely humanoid, but are hard to get a read on. I'm going to uh, go in a little bit further to try to get a better read on the humanoid thingies that are moving. The closer that you get, and the more that you try and uh, echolocate them, the more confusing it becomes. They okay. are they are clearly moving, and they are you can judge the rough size of them, which is about the size of a human being. But as for the shape of them, you can't get a good read. Okay. I also love that we're all just in our ball outfits in this cave right now. Yeah. Like... Mm -hmm. I'm going to, upon doing that, uh, and sort of determining that I don't know their shape, um, I'm going to fly back outside and turn back into myself and relay the information to my, to my friends and sneaky comrades. All right, so you guys now know what the shape of that looks like. Mm -hmm. And that there are things that are apparently alive outside of whatever this door is. There wasn't a door in this section. Not so, not so soon before, yeah. There was one further in that you managed to bring down in one of your earlier loops. Mm -hmm. But nothing quite this close to the entrance of the caverns before. And I will actually give you one more with the roll that you had, Monty. You can tell that the door was not stone and was instead metal. Oh. Cool, cool, cool. Mm. Can, we, um, uh, can, we just, can we just leave the basils here and go back to school? Maybe. <laughs> Um, I, you don't have to follow me in. I'm going to take the basilisks and I've, so I've told them I would do. And, and yeah. Eloquent Monty. Um, Monty is a very eloquent lad, so... <laughs> Uh, as as we well know, he's exceptionally eloquent. He's very good at sharing his feelings. <laughs> he's he very, very good then... at telling the people that he cares about, that he cares about them. Um, so, yeah, exactly. But, yeah, Monty just turns to everyone and goes, I, you don't have to come with me. I'm going to, I'm going to bring the basilisks in. Um, and I... I'm going to take their, their blinkers off um, once, once we're in. 
Monty, what instead of maybe you taking their blinkers off, maybe I could use Mage Hand and some sorcery points to take them off from farther away at the door, oh. and we could close the door instead of you doing that. Oh. Right. Yeah. You have to talk to us about these things. <laughs> I'm sorry. I for I tend to forget. Um. Yeah. So I'm I'm gonna let them in, and and then you'll take off their blinders with mage hand and some points and yeah so it'll be it'll be fine and they'll be able to they'll be able to eat whatever is running around down here um and then i can come and visit and no oh, no, no 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 you why would you come and visit them because i like them and he's he's like he puts a, his hand on western jeff's nose and is like we have a lot in common Western what? Jeff's little tongue kind of flickers out and tickles Monty's palm and then goes back in. M Monty, how do you... They're going to, to kill you if you... I don't think this is a good idea. They're not going to kill me. Why, why not? If I let them know it's me, they won't... And to close their eyes, then maybe they... They won't they won't kill me. I'm I'm trying to help them and so they're you, they're very intelligent creatures. You you think that maybe they weren't possibly lying to you about not wanting to eat you or kill you or any of those things? They said nothing about not wanting to eat or kill me, but they Okay. <laughs> we we understand each other. Can I make an insight check? Don't. Has Tink don't caught up with these idiots yet? <laughs> yes. I, I will say, Tink, you are also here at this point. Hey, uh, Tink, Monty would want to visit the Basilisk after uh, we drop them off here. Uh, what do you feel about this situation? Possibly. <laughs> it kind of looks back between, like, Yenna and Tink and everyone, like. Please help. <laughs> so, well, I, I, I mean, I don't love the idea of it, uh, but I, I, I don't know. Monty seems pretty sure none of us can talk to them. Yeah. I mean, I would use kind of kind of use the basilisk to just have them go and figure it out does this have to be our problem yeah but i mean if if you keep coming back to visit them it kind of becomes our problem at that point i need you mm. all to roll perception oh god <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, 13 13 Seven. Fourteen. He was so proud of that seven. Uh <laughs> I rolled the two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Those of you who got above a ten. Okay. Everyone but me, continue. <laughs> <laughs> you notice the water is parting towards the cavern. From the center of the lake, like an arrow going through the water, there's just a, a cross section that appears to have gone. Uh. Tink, do you have do you have the detective magic on your hand today? Who? Who are you yeah. asking? <laughs> Me? And isn't that a spell that you had? Oh, I have detect magic. I can do yeah. it as a ritual. <laughs> but I, I, don't know if I, I have think ritual time. But... Yeah, I don't think we have ritual time. I don't think I've 
ever prepared detect magic. <laughs> Yana doesn't have it, I don't think. I, 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 I was about to say detect I magic. <laughs> I do have it. I do have it. I should have it prepared more. <laughs> Okay, I didn't take it either. And no detect magic was had. No, no, Wait. there's a detect magic. There's a detect have magic it. happening right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Who is using detect magic? Me, Yuli. Okay, all right. Um, is it a ritual or? No. Okay. I use slot. <laughs> In throwing your magical awareness outwards, um, you are immediately overwhelmed with the fact that there is a lot of magic immediately where you are. You are surrounded by it. Okay. Um, there's magic in the forest, there's magic in the water, there's magic in the, the little like cross-section of the water that's leading towards the caverns. There's magic coming from the caverns, there's magic even on the torches that appear to be in the cavern. Um, there's magic from very deep within the caverns that you can kind of just about sense on the periphery of your senses. Um, and there is magic coming from one particular form that appears to be walking through the cross-section of the water, and two very bright areas of magic from just outside of uh, where Monty had described the door being. Okay, right. sorry. I I'll had just... to step away for a second. So what specifically do you guys want to find out from this? Well, I think it was just to see... <laughs> if there's uh, magic? I, I, uh, <laughs> it, mistakes were made because that's just, it's everything, everything. It's uh, oops, all magic. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't well, know... I don't know. I think if any so one she... thing had been magical, that would have been great. But everything being magical does nothing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Would I be able to? Okay. So if I focus on, like the, because we're we're planning on proceeding through these caverns, right? And we're at a fork. Is that the idea? Or no? Uh, we are trying to decide if we're going to go into the caverns, and there is uh, a figure coming out of the lake. Yeah. The caverns, okay. for, for reference, with where you are adjacent to the caverns, you would have to go down like a rocky incline to get into the caverns themselves. Can I ident like, from this detect magic, yes. am I able to tell what type of magic is in the caverns? Um, roll me a perception. Actually, roll me an arcana. Uh, 19. Okay, is it the magic that you detect deep in the caverns that you wanted to know about, or...? I think, yeah, she would want to know what we were walking, t what we would be walking toward if we went in. The magic that you detect from deep in the caverns is draconic in nature. Oh, good. Practice. Okay. Um... There are multiple spells, but the flavor of them is draconic. Very much like um, embedded in the stone. Um, Does... I just converted some sorcery points just so that that's aware of something <laughs> if it seems like I had too many. Um, I, I also really quickly want to say that I think Tink failed his perception check. Uh, basically, <laughs> I do think he's going to like check in with Belial and be like, yeah, like we're we're headed to the, we're headed to the caverns. He's on the, the phone. Way. He's on the phone. <laughs> He's on the phone with his bow. Okay. He's on the right, phone right, with his boyfriend. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So Yuli casts detect magic, and she'll suddenly look kind of like almost like a wave hits her, and be glancing around sort of wildly and go, "There's um. Okay. There's uh magic ev everywhere. Uh. B uh. But specifically, um." Uh, the caverns lead towards something that feels draconic. Do it does uh, can I ask, does this feel familiar to me at all? This magic. Hmm. Familiar how? What are you trying to equate it to? Um 
because we have been around a Braxis when he's been doing weird fucky shit? Does it feel okay. like? Does it, does it feel, feel like, like Braxis? That? Yeah. Um, roll a history check. Okay. I'm okay at those. Oh, not okay enough. <laughs> um, I got an eight. Unfortunately, you can't tell. The magic itself, it's difficult to tell when magic is ingrained in such a place because it loses a lot of its identity mm. <laughs> when it's been there for a long time. But in specific, you wouldn't have felt enough of Abraxas's casting of this kind of magic to be able to compare it. Okay. What um which 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 what should we do? At this point, I will say Belial is yelling at Tink down the stones. <laughs> I was oh, going to say. Good. What what lecture am I getting? <laughs> Specifically, you are getting a lecture on. No, don't go into the strange underground caverns without any sort of backup. I can be with you in like ten minutes. You can just wait for me, and then maybe everything will be okay. Stay where you. What are you doing? <laughs> You're putting yourself in more danger. <laughs> Tanks, Tanks, just going back. Like, I, I, I have backup. I'm literally like, I came here to meet Has up. Has tonight not already been enough? <laughs> I did, can, I did, can we not just go home? Is I, that not just an option that I, we can take? Yeah, I, I mean, you, you, so you, you can just uh, live knowing that there are just like basilisks, basilisks yes. roaming around the school grounds, yes. and I did, so, so long as the basilisks are nowhere near you, yes, I can live with that. <laughs> there's, there's a suspicious pause. <laughs> <laughs> And Tink just goes, they're Monty's friends. I cannot make anything. <laughs> yeah, Tink does not address the as long as they're nowhere near you comment at all. <laughs> and so like over over the over your shoulder, you're just hearing Tink be like, it's fine. Like it's 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 fine. Just like don't Yeah, right next to you on thing. It's, they're they're probably I mean they can't hurt us right now they're probably not going to i <laughs> i if we julie yenna what are you doing yenna is babbling point. about how the fucking mermen are coming <laughs> having just been attacked <laughs> by <laughs> mermaids <laughs> and it hurt a lot it sounded a really bad night guys yeah oh well she's just freaking out um Yuli had asked what the plan was, and I'm assuming is not is not getting a clear. You are not answer. getting an answer at all at this point, Yuli. <laughs> the answer um, that you're getting from Monty is just like the plan is that I'm going is that I am t freeing the basilisks somewhere where they can live and not be. M M Monty, like, Monty, Monty, Monty. I, 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 I but, yes, I know, I know what you're doing. Um, I'm there. There is a draconic power down there. So I'm just wondering um, whether or not any of us are going to die, I guess, is what I'm wondering if, if we've got a plan to make sure that doesn't happen. So um, can I try cast? Monty just goes everything? white, we can, realizing that the draconic power is probably Abraxas yeah. and just like he starts touching it is like he's touching his face and like I think probably for the first time really like really makes note of the fact that he, he the scars he got in the last loop are still on him face like he had, he had known it but it hadn't quite sunk in until just now and he was like oh 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 oh, oh no oh no also not oh, to no. add to this chaos but lawrence is also <laughs> definitely here <laughs> yeah. oh, oh my yeah. god that's right oh, yeah lawrence oh. lawrence is definitely here and has kind of just been stood i want to say about 20 feet away watching everything that is happening right now very quietly he's being as unobtrusive as possible this sweet boy i know um, i feel so bad uh, like just like so on yeah bear with me one second guys emily yeah. what did you want to ask i just i would love to try to do the spell magic on this fucking whirlpool draconic uh water shit if it it will do anything to it um okay well the uh the opening in the water isn't necessarily draconic 
the Whoa, uh the magic is right or no 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 the magic further in the cavern is draconic okay the, the magic the in the lake is different so, <laughs> I'll give you that one for free. The magic in the lake is mermaids. Any... Mermaids. Portal. Yeah. Or, or mer something. Use for this, or is that not really a? Sorry, thing Emily. Can can you repeat that, please? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Is do I see any magical effect or creature or object that I could possibly dispel for this uh, work spell? Well, somewhere? I mean, yeah. There, there is a cut out of water in the lake that is currently happening. Okay, I would um, love to just pull that. <laughs> great. If I can. Yeah, sure. Um, just spell magic. <laughs> what are the parameters of it? Choose one creature, object, or magical effect within range. Any spell hmm. of third level or lower will end it. Uh -huh. spells at a fourth level or higher and make an ability check using your spell spell casting ability, the DC equals 10 plus the spell's level. On a successful check, it ends. Okay. Let me roll a wild magic. <laughs> okay, we're good. I was gonna say, I feel like a fireball might actually help this scenario. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> oh, shish kebab, my sweet friend. You instantly see that the cutout of water that had been happening in the lake stops. Ooh. Stops moving, stops widening, and then ever so slowly starts collapsing inwards, and you hear two screams. Oh, fuck. Did I just kill some fucking mermaids? No, I, no, I think just, you just... Just brick in his brother. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh god, no! <laughs> you hear two very panicked screams before it's like, ah! And um, there's just a bunch of water, and the lake is the lake is the lake again. Auntie's just gonna say fuck it and jump into the lake. Oh god! No, no there's mermaids in there. Can we go? Uh, he doesn't know that. that. Yes, you do! Yenna has been yelling about them for the last do, however long. You do know that there are mermaids in there. Yenna has been saying about it for the past while since Yenna got there. Yeah, so has been yelling about how they mermaids. were attacked, and they were scary, and they grabbed her tail, and that fucking was terrible. You know. There's no mm -hmm. way you don't know. Santa's Whether or not I was paying attention is a very big fight with you if this goes through, like... <laughs> I'm gonna say if somebody would like to stop Monty from jumping in the lake, I would that love is to still... stop him. I would also love if anyone would help me stop him. Um, Please, I'm so weak. Yeah, I, I mean, I think I feel like if Tank was in range, he would also like lunge for him. Like, yeah. I will let anybody who wants to lunge at Monty lunge at Monty. Yeah, I, I would lunge too. Roll. Okay, Monty. To yeah. escape would be a strength check, a mm -hmm. disadvantage. Okay. Oh. But that—that that is, you do not escape. No. Xanth you fucking... are pinned beneath three people. Xanth fucking pulls him by the ear away from the water and just starts fucking laying into him like you. I, I swear to god, I'm so fucking done with this shit. It's every fucking week with you, and he just keeps going over and over again at Monty. I'm gonna roll my perception to see if I can see my, my full of interest. And that's a 10, so I probably don't. I was gonna say, Lawrence is being very unobtrusive right now and genuinely just watching what is happening. <laughs> But does Monty see him? Does he know he's there? No, Monty does not know he's there with a role like that. Yeah. Um, so with with Xanth yelling at him, Monty's just gonna like slump down on it, like just go sit on like sit on the ground and just like start like trying to make himself as small as possible and is sort of like yeah, he, he knows that he's fucked up, but he's just like, he's just been trying to do the right thing, and now his best friend is yelling at him, and he's just like, 
He deserves it yeah. so much right now. He deserves it. He absolutely oh, yeah. deserves it. I'm not saying he doesn't. He just is. He's he's just very sad about this. <laughs> he's confused. Yeah, Xanth is still yelling at. <laughs> I think Yenna is also piling on. Like, why do you have a fucking death wish? What is wrong with you? Like, it's just like does not know this man, and is just like every fucking time we have interacted, you have tried to get yourself killed. Tink Tink's gonna go over and and like. Talk to Lawrence for a second, then grab him. <laughs> what do you say to Lawrence? Um, I th I think he's gonna be like I. I know how this looks, but it feels like sometimes he's just trying to get himself killed. Uh, quite interesting that you assume that you know precisely what this looks like, when, in fact, what it looks like is that he does try to get himself killed. Oh, well, that's, a uh, relief. Uh, I don't- I hope you don't mind my distance. I'm just trying to weigh the information that I currently have at hand. That, uh, you're- uh, on a date with the guy who's trying to charm Throw some snakes into, into a, a cave? magical lake. Yeah, yeah. Oh yes, there are two different instances in which I should be somewhat unsettled, aren't there? A little bit. Yeah. Yes. Well... But, I mean, you're still here. So I am. And uh, to to be clear, if if you want to go, uh, I I can. Uh, uh, can you? Wh what? <laughs> handle this, handle him, because it doesn't look. In fact, it looks like he's. Well. He's going to march up to Monty and lean down in front of Monty. Monty just looks up. Get up, I'm taking you back to the dormitories. Okay. And Monty just gets up. He doesn't put up a fight or anything. Lawrence kind of turns to the rest of you and is like, I shall see him safely home. And then I shall return and help you with this situation. Thank you, Lawrence. And <laughs> instead of walking neatly beside Monty, he's going to grab Monty as though by the scruff of the neck of a kitten and drag. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Monty's not protesting. He's just like, fine. And to which those of you watching here, I'm going to have some severely strong words for you the moment that I get you somewhere safe. <laughs> which is about the point that a basilisk kisses. Yeah. Uh oh. Monty is going to speak to the basilisks and be like, "No, no, no." You're not here. It's... No, no, you're not. You're not here. You have been dragged away by Lawrence. Oh no, sorry guys. It's okay, we'll fucking kill it. It's a monster, so... <laughs> kill my friends? Yeah, of course. You yeah, won't kill your monster. Yeah, we and, are. Like, he's talking about how it wants to eat people. Yes. <laughs> I mean, there's three of them. We've really got to weigh our... Uh, no, uh, I mean, we'll figure it out. Uh, we'll figure something out. Probably. Um... We can grab Yenna. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, I think Tink's gonna kind of like look at the basilisk as it hisses and be like, "I don't, I, I, I don't know if we should stay here." I, Just gonna leave? I don't know if we should leave. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. You guys keep asking me to, what I think we should do, and I, and I, and I, and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
Look at them with spells. I can tell you right now, I do not have spells for this. I don't have spells for this either. <laughs> Suggestion doesn't work on something that doesn't speak common. Yeah. I have spells. Are they killing yeah. spells? Because most of Yenna's spells are killing spells. Yeah, they're killing spells. They're also like throw them around spells and other well, fun things. Well, if you throw them around, we could just fucking throw them <laughs> in the murder basin and leave. I mean, you could also throw them in the lake. I will <laughs> say, as you guys are discussing this, at least one of the snakes has gone into like the forested area that you are standing next to, and it's just kind of rubbing over a tree. Are they being threatening? Fast not go. at all. They are not being threatening at all. I mean, oh. maybe we could just leave them in the forest. Okay. I'm never um, coming to this forest again. Do you have any, like, ward or something you could put on them? Because I don't want someone like Xander to come and fucking take these guys again to try and kill students. Is there anything we could do? Like... That is... Very much not my specialty. I, I mostly I... break things. Yeah, Those I... of you who are casters. Yeah. Yes. All of us. Yeah. Of us left. <laughs> Yuli, do you have any casting ability? Yeah. She still does. She, I, I think she's uh, still BRB for a sec. But ah, yeah. That's fair. Uh, y Yuli um... is still wizard. If you would all like to put your heads together and come up with something unique, I will allow you to do so if you pass an intelligence check and an arcana check. This is considering that we come up with a good idea. <laughs> considering that you come up with a good idea, yes. Um, I mean, I do have mending. If I don't know if there's a way we could try to combine spells to make sure that the blinds don't come off the basilisk. Uh... I I mean I feel like I'm... Tink's first instinct would be a kind of like keep these in an area of the forest and keep people out of an area of the forest kind of deal. Create a sanctuary for them? Effectively. Yeah, like to I create mean... some kind of like circle that it wouldn't be impossible to get through but it would like obscure or like make you want to turn a around kind of thing a giant door that says don't open snake inside yeah. basically yeah a giant invisible door that says uh do not open dead dove <laughs> and then we'll all we all know it's inside and if someone is opens there... it that's their own fucking problem uh well, i don't know if this is a better or worse idea but i'm wondering if a way there's a way we could like homebrew invisibility to make them never see if they have the blinders on them it'll be very good but if the blinders come off at any point that's awful yeah, yeah. I mean oh. her Yuna's <laughs> only thing that she can probably contribute this specifically would be to like send them somewhere very far away that would be, be good I think or to use arcane lock on the blinders somehow we can and make them like not we, attachable at all. DM, would you would it be possibility to combine like mending and arcane lock together to make the blinders not able to come off? It's very homebrew, but like, yeah, yeah, you could do that. Okay, I mean, I'm down <laughs> if you guys want to permanently blind these snakes. I mean, that's for the. They can still hunt with their tongues. That's fine. Like yeah. that, yeah. the sense of. Yeah, they just the, can't. The eyes is where, people. yeah. So yeah, yeah. that's like the biggest concern. Like, giant snakes is dangerous, but way less dangerous yeah. than yeah. than petrification, which will definitely fuck up random people. How fast do these snakes move? Just for reference. Not very fast. Okay, so potentially, if it tried to bite someone, a student or something, they could just run away. With a decent enough dex check, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I still have my homunculus, so if we can figure out something to do or, like, um, infuse, like, an item that can be, like, brought over and attached kind of thing, uh, 
that's probably a little a little better than using mage hand a little bit no, more control over it mending but oh for putting it on them yeah or for yeah i don't really have anything i could put over their eyes though i have a candle well they already <laughs> have something over their eyes yeah well, it's, it's just a matter of making sure it doesn't when come it's up. already on them or do you have to do you have to take it off of them to infuse it uh, I was thinking, uh, like, adding something to that is infused to it. Oh, okay. I will say an infusion of any kind takes a certain amount of time. Mm -hmm. Specifically oh. about eight hours worth of time. Blah. Okay. Oh. Do you just want to do lock plus vending and see if we can make that work? Because I feel like that would be... Like I will say you don't even need lock plus mending, just the arcane lock would keep that okay. apparatus yeah. upon the snakes. Yeah. Um but roll nature for me. Everyone or anybody who wants to. That's uh nine. Sure. uh five. <laughs> Your nature uh, boy is 14. gone. Nature is gone. So what, sorry, Anna? 14. Don't forget you do have inspiration as well. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a good time to do it. So let's do it. Sorry, I forget. That's okay. Well, apologizing also, to the audience who keeps giving it to me, and I'm just like, <laughs> la uh, 17. With the 17, you would know that keeping the apparatus on the head of a snake like this is eventually going to lead to cut sores and lesions. It would not be mm. the healthiest thing for a snake to have. Um, right. That being said, um, with the size of this forested area, having three snakes of this size, which are only mm, about half the size of the basilisk that you guys fought last loop, Mm -hmm. If they are still growing, they are going to out hunt this forest incredibly quickly. If there is a possibility for teleporting or like sending them somewhere else, that would be the best option. Okay. Send them somewhere else. Yeah. Uh so this will be a big stretch of basically her abilities because I the only teleportation that I have available right now is vortex warp which is good but has limitations so what would you what would you need from me to make this a like send them away <laughs> do any of the other casters have anything that is um according to uh, teleportation or movement. Um, the only thing I have unprepared is a uh, spider climb, um, <laughs> or funnily enough, yeah. rope trick. <laughs> but rope trick is temporary. I, I have misty stuff, but I mean it does not go far. So yeah, because this is a ninety foot movement and was more of a throw them in the lake. But kind of hard thought <laughs> it might honestly i feel like it well if we send them the lake the two the two brothers might die <laughs> uh, they might already if be they're dead, not already dead. Dead. i yeah. don't know what happened with that i'm nope. way more concerned i was on the phone <laughs> oh great <laughs> so it's just it somewhere on the other side of the lake someone is spluttering and coughing up water um oh good what was their that's life? good actually <laughs> Her thing I is mean, the mer people and the snakes and fight it out. Fuck it. Yeah, I feel tink, like tink. sorry, Monty, but <laughs> no, Tink, roll me Arcana. Uh, wait, I I also have a I will roll your Arcana, but I also found a a thing that I do have. Maybe okay. Uh, <laughs> I need to look up what it does. I'm laughing at the idea of like combining okay, this yeah. with a catapult. Oh god. <laughs> I'm down. Just throw them. Okay. Um I'm rolling Arcana. Mm-hmm. 
Well, you're gonna uh, have to tell me nothing because I got a one. Nice, oh. good to know. Uh, Yenna, roll Arcana. It's really a tragedy because of uh, exhaustion. Uh, it's a two. Wonderful. Plus... Sans, roll Arcana. Six. <laughs> Plus six, okay. Uh, or still. seven. Oh, okay. All right. Um, Zanth, roll. <laughs> I'm going to use Lucky because the first one was a six. Um, hold on. Arcana, uh, 19. So mad. It would have been a 21. I'm just sitting here like, that's too low for me to even want to use a bonus <laughs> on it. Like... <laughs> And that one got the two fucking like we do magic experimental magic don't know what the fuck my nat one is is a six like I have a plus five arcana yeah hey, to be fair all Sense. of my magic is experimental so yeah Sans you mm -hmm. all have access something to something that uh, breaks oh physics God. already yeah. <laughs> I'm just me. waiting patiently like, where we've been trying to figure this out the whole time. <sighs> you you have your own dimensional spaces. I don't Absolutely have not. You do. I mean, you all have your own keys. Uh, no, I, no, I didn't I, get mine yet. To be fair, Tink has yours. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Tink has has Zans Zan and Monty's. Wait, Are you gonna just put them? Tink in also has Monty's. <laughs> put them in Monty's. You're not here. <laughs> no, I know, but, like, but voice of men, like put them, put them in Monty's. We can put them in Monty's. <laughs> yeah, but then Monty's gonna go visit them. <laughs> yeah, but he, but 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 he wants to go visit them. He he says they get along, and they're not trying to attack us. Look at them. What are they doing? Okay. What are they doing? What are the um, snakes doing? The one that was rubbing against a tree is now just kind of headbutting it, and like one of the other ones is obviously trying to figure out what a bush is. Um, Why did you make them cute? <laughs> See? <laughs> okay, okay. Um, yeah, we could put them in Monty's room, but maybe uh, maybe we could just keep the blinders on them. And yeah, I'm not gonna take yeah, the those fucking blinders those off. Those are never running I, off. I, I, maybe I, maybe we could arcane lock. Them so much he doesn't take the bl the blinders off him either. Just a thought. Yeah, yeah. Actually, I don't <laughs> trust that boy. That boy, that boy's gonna get one of us killed. Like, no, I, I I've been, yeah, I've been experienced this for a very long time. I, he's hopeless. There's nothing we can do. Um, uh, but uh, arcane locking might be a good start. <laughs> okay, Tink is, and then gonna... we'll adjust it as necessary. Yeah. Uh, Tink is gonna message a basilisk just to see just for argument's sake mm -hmm. uh and just be like do you understand common do I, do I get any any like which basilisk are you messaging uh the the one if if I can tell them apart the one <laughs> that Monty had like been like me and this guy we got a thing going you know like uh if they don't all look identical to me otherwise the one closest to me um you get back his 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 <laughs> <laughs> Okay, oh, okay, but that sounded pretty deliberate. <laughs> does, it, does it have the pattern of language? Does it have the pattern of language? <laughs> um, roll nature. <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's a 14. It's a 14. <laughs> it's a 14. Sure, why not? <laughs> So, but but so like they because I know they're intelligent creatures, and they probably understand at least a little bit of common because Sander would probably speak to them in common. Yeah, like there is a deliberation to the his his. Yeah. Okay. Uh. So I think out loud he's gonna go. 
Hey, so uh, uh, original plan, not going to work, but I have a special room that uh, you guys could, could go in and then and Monty can still come visit. Uh, and, and we just we just might have to figure out the the the, the food thing. Does that sound like if that's if that sounds chill, uh, it, it come towards my voice in a very non-threatening way, I guess, because <laughs> this is kind of scary. <laughs> yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Cry. <laughs> yes, he is. And he, like, you see the basilisk comes towards you, and like, basilisk doesn't have arms. Basilisk only has head and tail, and mm -hmm. so basilisk is just like head down and going. Yes, 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 yes. As it comes forwards towards you, and you see that the other two kind of perk up their head and head towards you as well. Okay. Uh, it, it, Tink is like fully like not okay with this and like trembling and trying to find Monty's key <laughs> and a piece of chalk. Um, I feel like you could probably draw something on a on a big enough tree. I feel like that's a thing. Like it's if it works on a wall, okay. it'll work on a tree. Like I don't see the difference. <laughs> and he's gonna just Are you try. Are and... in a cave right now? Can we just put it on the cave? We're not wall? on the cave yet. <laughs> oh, we're we fully in the... in the forest. We've never gone in. No, but yeah. it's right next to us, right? We could just draw it on the outside of the wall. Uh, it's kind. It's next to you, but down. You have to like go down the rock face if you want to get know, in there. The tree's fine. Yeah, I, I feel like it's just. It, it, can I? Can I find a tree like big enough to draw a very wonky little door in? Sure. Nice. Um. Yeah, and he's just gonna straight up use Monty's key. No permission. No nothing. <laughs> Monty knows nothing about the room. Monty doesn't even know the room exists. And I'm gonna be like, here's a room full of snakes. Eat your heart. It's, it's a it's a what's yeah. it called? A greenhouse, right? They can they, yeah. can they eat plants, maybe? Uh oh, there, there were animals in that greenhouse, but yeah. Oh. Well, there might not be when Monty gets there, but that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, bunny rabbits! Listen, something's gotta give, and if it's the interdimensional bunny rabbits, that's just how it's gonna be. I don't know what to expect going into this room. How do um, animals survive the exhaustion? Is it just they look, never if leave? You, yeah. If you want to have a pet dog, you gotta feed it meat, okay? Like, Yenna. Yes? Roll O'Connor on that same. <laughs> um... I, I and I think like while Tink like halfway through drawing the door, Tink's gonna like stop for a sec, reach back into his uh pocket, and take out Zant's key and hand it to him. Uh, it was a ten on that Arcana. Yenna's attitude is well, they were gonna die anyways. <laughs> Yenna, with a ten, you one hundred percent know that if they ever leave, yes, the exhaustion will hit them. <sighs> Amazing. Not to but, be worried about the rabbits. <laughs> but that for the entire time they're in there, they will not feel hungry. They will not feel tired. Have you guys told us this yet, or is this something we just don't know? No. Uh, uh, yeah. Yana told you about why she feels like shit when you guys rejoined initially. I'm pretty sure. I yeah. don't know if Tink yeah, knows. Was there. <laughs> I don't know if Tink was there yet. Uh, but Xanth was there, and Xanth was like, "What a bitch! You didn't give me a key." <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, and and yeah, yeah. Tink, Tink will hand Xanth his key and be like, "By the way, uh, Balthazar gave us rooms where we can put things. They'll stay through the loops." Is it? it I, I mean, am I gonna have to sleep with the basilisk? No, no, no. That this is your room. You have I your own room. room. I'm gonna put these in Monty's room and then let him figure out. The next step. Wait, so none of us are sharing. You don't have to live there. They're just like places. To yeah, it's 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 a. No, it's it's great. No, no, I'm sorry. Never mind. I actually would really recommend not living there. You will die. What? <laughs> what? I didn't. I didn't sleep there. I I I stayed up and I thought it was fine. And then I walked out 
and now I feel like I own the vomit. Huh. So just I I don't think time works normally there, but when you walk out, it catches up, and it fucking sucks. So don't. Sam Noted. gives like Tink a look like, oh fuck. <laughs> like, yeah, like this, I'm not gonna go in you. the room and die. Okay, I'm. It's good. Good, I don't, good to know. You have ADHD. I don't know. This could, <laughs> it could happen. <laughs> My vision is you're gonna take the elixir, and then you're gonna get distracted, and then you're gonna come out like four days later. And, it just collapsed. He will come out two weeks later. Oh. It's fine. He's gonna just like finish drawing the the door on the <laughs> on the wall. Or on the on the it's, tree. It's super as not you fine. as you finish drawing on the wall slash tree, um a snake head kind of just like a snoot does a little boop. Oh, so cute! Yeah, he's yeah. he's very much like he's reacting. I think as if he would if like a lion did that to you, where it's like, yes, this is very cute, but like I am not okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you arcane lock the 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 the, the blindfolds already? No. Okay, we should maybe we could do that before they go in. I don't know. Just in case. Yeah, I mean, do we have to worry about it if it's in Monty's face? How am I gonna tell them, don't eat me? I Please don't eat I, me. I, I think maybe this is something we can revisit. Okay. In, yeah, after. Uh, Monty can't get in without the key. I have the key. So. One of okay. the basilisks just kind of opens its mouth big and wide. No teeth, just big and ah! wide. Yep, nope. Too scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I love it. Uh, you know, like, hide behind Tink. It's like, yeah. That's it's a bad like place to be because like they are around me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, T- Tink's gonna, uh, as soon as, like, he can get the key in the in the keyhole, like, he probably like hits the bark with the tree, like it's not happening fast enough before he like puts the key in the keyhole and turns. <laughs> Um, Sam, are you holding cheese? Yeah. Okay. All right. Why? 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 Don't ask <laughs> questions <laughs> like that. That's so scary. Look, <laughs> <laughs> like, I know he's a familiar and he can't die, but I still don't want him to get eaten. Okay. Uh, Tink's gonna open the door. Mm-hmm. Um. The, uh, the, the door, yeah. How are you going to tell the snakes where the door is? I guess I go inside. <laughs> Walking in, you are instantly surrounded of a jungle of a greenhouse. There are parrots. There are birds of every kind. There appear to be like some little rodents and things, and the snakes follow you in. Okay, I you also... are now in an interdimensional space with three snakes. Yeah, I I mean as a side note, I think as like Tink walks in, he feels like he has learned more about Monty than he has ever known before. <laughs> like this is kind of a side of Monty that none of us have seen, and the fact that this is his like perfect space um is is very interesting but as as soon as the snakes are in uh he's he's going to again try to explain like okay so this is a space where you will be safe there are things for you to eat but maybe you don't feel hungry here Uh, unclear um monty can come see you here at least. Uh, but I'm... I'm gonna go. But... This this is okay, right? We're all, we're all okay. You see one of the snakes, the snake that had been just designated as Jeffrey, is already, like, almost nuzzling against the ground, and you can tell he's trying to dig a hole. <laughs> oh... I mean, maybe um, you can dig a hole. I don't know how big these rooms are. <laughs> and then the other snake that was like talking to you just kind of does a hiss, hiss, hiss. 
Yes, he is. He is. He is. I mean, I'm not currently being eaten, so this all sounds like a positive result. Um, I, I frankly will probably not see you again, and I think that is uh, something we will all prefer. But <laughs> I'll let Monty know where to find you. Yes, he is. And Tick is gonna very quickly, uh, like first slowly back away, and then very quickly back out of the room and close the door and lock it. <laughs> and as you close and lock that door, you all hear the sound of water breaking, a splash, and a scrabble at stone, and coughing as something leaves the water. And that's where we're going to leave it for the week. Oh well, goodness. at least they didn't die. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I fucking can't with you all. <laughs> yeah. We almost killed so many fucking people today. <laughs> yep. But we didn't succeed. Yeah. And that's what counts. Jenna's going to fix that. And oh, with that... Oh. <laughs> And with that, we shall wish you all a good night before we start talking about everything that just happened. Oh my so God. thank you all so much at home for joining us for this night's Hellions of Karnak. It has been a blast. Thank you so much. We shall see you guys again next Monday. Uh, there are a few, a few thank yous that we would like to do to our patrons. Um, and if you like what you have seen tonight, please feel free to follow us, subscribe if you would like to, or check out our Patreon where you can get cool things like access to the Spice Rack, or access to behind-the-scenes stuff, or access to homebrew content. There's even some um, off-camera scenes and fanfic that we have written about our own thing. It's not fanfic when you control the world. <laughs> Is our it... go 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 oh I was just going to say our sister shows um, Reckoning and uh, Manhattan by Midnight will not be airing this week as they're taking a short break but they will be back next week for you guys to enjoy and you should definitely check those out when they are yeah <laughs> So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Keep rolling, guys. See you soon. Bye. 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 Bye.